Well, I just chatted. We've got the the main characters should be available for everybody. All right. So this is obviously an illegal zoom level, which you normally cannot obtain in uh, Factorio. You can use this command to zoom out in your own world like this as well. Makes for a nice shot of your entire factory. All right. So last time, let's actually check what we did. So here is the rocket, which is the normal end game. Stream disconnected for a sec. Oh no. Right. I'll just switch off my own um, my own browser so that my system only has to upload instead of also download it. I have the chat on my phone uh, like every time, so I won't see it immediately usually, but I'll try to respond to as many. Uh, of your questions as I can. Right, so I didn't leave myself any notes to what uh, what I was doing. Sometimes I made a list of stuff which we need to do. This is the final technology card by the way. But this time we are going in blank and I have absolutely <laughs> no remembrance of what should be done next. Right, so in the last stream we got through the optimization tech cards, which is basically uh, rocket science or space science in vanilla. Um, it was a little bit more difficult though because we needed to get these um, research, or like quantum computers and these labs. And they required some very advanced piece of uh, kit for which we needed to go out and mine a new resource. This uh, immersite quarry drill which is then crushed into sand and powder and which is after that it's transported back to the base am i not standing on the rails i am not this train is going to kill me sometime uh, distractions yeah distractions the powder is going here where it's made into crystals and into plates for now so we are not use, using too many just yet. We just needed that to get the initial AI cores, uh, these things, so we could actually make these uh, labs and these research servers. So you need like an end level uh, ingredient to make the uh, research facility for space science, which was a little bit odd, but we got it done. So we have the optimization card, we then made the matter cards, which is just blue chips and this matter research data, which consists of four things, three which you may not recognize, plastics is from vanilla, rare metals is just another uh, resource which you can mine and smelt, and then we have uh, lithium and the crystals, we already had to make the crystals for the AI cores, so we did set it up already. So we only needed to make lithium. The crystals are over here. And these chemical plants. It's a lot of chemical plants, but it takes like 30 seconds to craft one. So we'll see if it's overbuilt or not. For now it's okay. And lithium we put up over here. It's basically pretty cool. It's like a self-contained system. We had to... Uh, I put 50,000 units of chlorine in this tank that is combined with mineral water into lithium chloride so that locks up the, the chlorine. Then it goes into these electrolysis plants which make lithium out of it. And that process frees up the chlorine again and the chlorine flows back into this tank. So it's like, um, like a cycle. The chlorine is just like a a part of the recipe but it is not used up it is uh, uh, the amount of chlorine in the system is going to be the same the whole way through so that's a reason to not use productivity modules or you will need to get rid of the excess chlorine that uses anyway that uh, that lithium is then also made into lithium sulfur batteries over here so we are also stashing up those 
and that those batteries were needed for the advanced science pack, these ones, as well as the first immersion, we are starting to process it into gears over here. Just a single one with some beacons and that should do. We are also making these beams as they are used for a lot of, uh, these immersion beams, they are used for a lot of end game buildings and machines and whatnot. Right, we have our 8k optimization signs, 8k matter signs and we are slowly making advanced signs. And the only one that is left to do is this singularity deck which requires those AI cores and charged matter stabilizers, whatever they may be. It's only two ingredients, but it's probably going to be quite difficult. The problem kind is, last, before last episode we spent a lot of time on the base, and then in the last episode we basically just rushed out the science packs and the new, the new setups. Oh, thanks for the subscription, Skelter. Yeah, I, I updated my goals, uh, they were still stuck on the, the default, which is like 10. Now I have 42 as a goal, as everybody knows that's the, the true answer. Right, so we made this uh, immersite processing stuff. We have mineral water, which is basically oil, but blue. And what else did we do? <laughs> yeah, all the stuff on this side, right, the lithium, the batteries and of course a whole lot of figuring out because this is all new stuff and we don't really know how how to how to do all of that all right i think i blabbered on for for long enough people should have had a chance to join the stream in time if they want to i'm just want to take one more moment to get a grip on what do i need to do I have I have no clue really. Power is good. We have our nuclear power plant right here. It can produce 1.6 gigawatts. We are not using any at the moment, but that's because um, let's check. Yeah, this is the power requirement of those labs: 400 megawatts for four labs. So quite significant compared to the rest of the base. <laughs> that's why we have this giant power plant here. Of course, this. 100% fuel efficient thanks to these steam tanks and these inserters. So currently there's no fuel inside, we are running off the steam. Alright, so power, we don't need to do anything about it. <clears throat> We've got this train which brings iron from this mine over or oh yeah, from this mine into these chests with loaders over my walkway. To this random point where it mixes in with iron from this mine. The iron is pretty bad, 700k, 600k. How is oil? Oil is almost out as well. These tanks are emptying out. Yeah, that was the thing, right? We spent no time at all last episode on <laughs> on maintain on maintaining the base. We only did new stuff, so. Perhaps we need to find some new oil, or perhaps we can wait. There is still a lot of oil in these tanks. No, maybe it's possible to just rush to the end and see, to, to treat it like sort of almost like a speed run. <laughs> see if we can, if we have enough in, uh, enough mines and stuff to actually get there. Okay, copper is gonna be good. Perhaps I should have claimed this giant iron patch, then I wouldn't have to worry about anything. We got a second. Immersite patch, which we theoretically could claim, although at the moment, we have 10,000 plates, 17,000 crystals, and 40,000 powder. So, oh, thanks, uh, Ineskov, for subscription. Good morning, everybody. Well, it looks like stream is stable right now. All right.
Alright, so our goal is to not get killed by this train. That is the challenge. That's the true challenge of this map. That world has stopped being a challenge long ago. As you can see, it almost looks like it's peaceful. There's biters all over my base, all over the place. But no one is attacking, and that's due to these amazing pollution filters. Where are they? These things. They suck the pollution right out of the chunk where it's produced. So theoretically we should have no pollution spreading uh, anywhere. But if we... So pollution won't spread to the biters because it is maintained in the chunk and sucked out of it before it can spread. The moment we mess that up, <laughs> we are going to be in big trouble as biters are like literally against my base in several places like here. This guy is like the closest I think. This big armored biter is standing right here. We've got one annoying patch over here. Here is some more oil actually. We could claim that. We've got several guys on my power line which has been cut off by now. There was a raider here a long time ago but not anymore. Yeah so that's kind of the state of the game. We were in the process of researching this technology. I'm going to reload. <laughs> Not foreshadowing. <laughs> I used the zoom command, so I need to uh, reload. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so it's not actually a speedrun or something. I'm just uh, on, on, the, on the verge of, should I solve my problems or should I ignore them and just see if we can get to the end and only fix things when they really break. That is really the, the big question right now. Okay, yeah, we ha have to finish researching that technology before we can select it. Alright, I guess let's go a quick tour next to the base. Alright, we have 500 of each module type, which should be enough, and I already made those. Um, so that the resources were spent while we were not using them, right? So now I'll lower it down to 200, so only if we need more than 300 modules, this will start again. That means as soon as we will start building more module builds and productivity module tree things, uh, this won't fire back up again and consume a lot of resources which we will probably need in the new machinery then. So that is a good catch. Right, we got our low density structures here. We've got loads and loads. I've been stashing them up in chests. So we've got like three full chests and almost... Oh, this is already the fourth. I think I'm going to keep doing that. Blue chips as well. Right, so... Let's actually just shuttle some over. Right, these are those AI cores. I still have a bunch of them left over. I should have more, actually. I think I put them either here in this chest. Right, another 600 or so. Right, so I guess we'll just keep adding these things over here. Gonna let's take a couple clicks. <laughs> right, let's keep this production going because I know these things require loads and loads of low density structures and also some blue chips I think. Let's actually write out the recipe. We cannot just yet. Yeah, we need. Let's wait for that to complete. We can do that before. We can just use the recipe book. Let's go away from those loud machines. Actually, is the I think the music settings may be too loud. I oh, know it isn't 15. That's good. 
<laughs> some quality free streams. <laughs> yeah, that was a good comment. <laughs> I already warned you, if you keep going like that, I'll go quantity free as well. <laughs> Alright. So let's uh, use the recipe book to see where we're at. We need only the singularity tech card. Let's just type tech. Alright, these are all the tech cards in the game up to here. And then it repeats again. So we did all of those already. We just need this one now. We searched in singularity lab and how it's made. Five AI cores and five charge matter stabilizer for five tech cards. So we've been going with this 60 signs per minute ideal, which we're probably not going to be able to maintain, but whatever, that's just to see the size of the builds we need to make. So that means a five in one craft means, and we need five ingredients. So that's just one ingredient per second to make one science per second. It's okay. So we need one AI core a second. Let's do AI core one a second. It's just uh, the, the puzzling out stage. And we are of course doing uh, singularity, singularity tech cards. One a second. Add, we'll add the shiny symbols as well. All right, AI course, we already know how to do that. Charged matter stabilizer. I'm way more scared of these things. One a second. All right, so now we go AI core. One a second. Now we're going to dissect these. So let's go AI core. Requires two processing units and two crystals make two AI cores. Okay, that's not so bad. That is just like one blue chip a second. Uh, blue chip, one per second. That is actually not so bad. And one crystal a second. I think we accounted for the usage of crystals already in the past, when we did the crystal build. We probably still need more immersite to actually make one crystal a second though, but we've got the build to do it and we've got the backlog of powder. Immersite crystal one per second. Oh, pretty easy so far. Because these we don't need to make anymore. So this is where this part ends because we got both blue chips. And we have got the crystals. And both of them have like giant stashes of Backlog. We have 16k crystals, so we are not going to be expanding those builds until we actually need to. All right, so that were those. Uh, is there a back button on this thing? All right, then we get to the charged matter stabilizer. I was expecting something like that. <laughs> to get a charged matter stabilizer, you need to charge up one matter stabilizer in a charging station. That, <laughs> that makes sense. So far, so good. Uh, matter stabilizer uncharged. I already saw this symbol here as well. So without the shiny lights. All right, that is just charged with power, I guess. So we're gonna need a charging station. Can we make that already? Ah, we need those new immersion beams for that. But for the rest, oh, we need energy control units for those as well. All right, so we have some work to do to get that up and running. Okay, then we just continue to look. Now it, now it uh, starts becoming 
hardcore, I think. Um, Alright, these things require three blue chips a second. Because this is also going to be one a second. Blue chip three a second. Yeah, now it's going to get expensive. These energy control units are not cheap either. And we need three of those per second as well. Immer CM plate six a second. <laughs> And we also, this is the same resource, we need the crystals, we need the plates, we need the gears. So yeah, that's a lot of immersion, we only have one mine at the moment. Okay, now the energy control unit, let's call it the abbreviation. This thing, three a second. Alright, so again. We have dissected everything, this is available, this is available, now we just need to dissect the energy control unit. <laughs> and those things are expensive, look at them. Holy moly. So this is just the for one. So for one energy control unit we would need six low densities a second. So for three we need 18 low density units per second that is insane as well as nine batch nine of those lithium sulfur batteries 27 components as a full red belt of components and nine crystals holy moly we needed one crystal for the ai core and another nine for this yeah this is it's never going to be 60 spm un unless you specifically build for it because those are some immense quantities man uh, lit, so, but, okay, we're going to go with the abbreviations, <laughs> looks like. So that's going to be 3 times 3 equals 9 a second. I'll just uh, put it down. We'll see if we can actually make it, I don't think so. Elect component, it's going to be 3 times 9 equals 27 a second. Probably you can hear by my voice. That I think it's a little bit over the top, but okay, it's the last science packs of a game expanding mod pack. It should be <laughs> expensive. <laughs> then it's a low density structure. That's going to be six times three equals eighteen a second. And the crystals. Three times three equals nine a second. Okay, we've got the entire puzzle figured out then. It's actually not that difficult. There is no there's no real like fluid stuff or something involved, like the nitric acid and stuff, which we had to do before. Wait, is there? I think there is. The AI course required that stuff. Oh yeah, we need nitric acid. We already have nitric acid though. Nitric acid. Now my whole alignment is going to get messed up. <laughs> okay, the multicolored thing. It's going to be like 5 a second. I'm just going to put it behind here. Alright, so we need a build for the AI cores, which we can make. And we need the matter charger. We need the, some assembler stuff to make the matter stabilizer. And we need some assembler stuff to make the, the electronic control units or something. Ah yeah. Bots are getting destroyed in our base. Every now and then. But not always. Sometimes they escape. <laughs> so those those bots are flying out there to replace the filters in the in the pollution filters. So it is of 
utmost importance that at least some of them make it through. So they are not shut down regularly. So we've been doing some deworming in places like here, where there were a lot of big worms. We basically sniped all the worms and let the biters live. So yeah, we'll see. If we have to undertake more action, we can do that. All right. So the thing is, if I want to claim this oil, I have to get rid of these biters. There's just no... Actually, do we? There are no worms in here either. Maybe we can... Maybe we can take this oil without actually... Removing the nest. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, if they get... If they get sniped... Too, ma too many times in a row, it could lead to a pollution outbreak, especially around the mines, that would go very fast. Oh, we've got another immersite mine over here. Alright. Singularity tech card is finished, so now we can actually select the thing. Alright. So, I guess... Let's start from the top down. I think I'm going to add the request for the Immersium stuff to my thing here. Let's just do it. Let's just start here in the middle. That seems not very logical. A stack of plates. A stack of gears. A stack of those beams. And that's about it, I think. can also add like a stack of AI cores and a stack of energy control units once we have those. Right. So that means we can now make that... I know we need energy control units to... To make matter assembly. Oh yeah, actually yeah, we also need to um, start making matter, I think. Let's add it to the list matter. Perhaps this is what I should be doing first. I think the plan was to make matter from mineral water. It's basically from water <laughs> and see how that goes. Alright, so we looked ahead last time. I'll just recap. The intergalactic transceiver is the end game technology and you can research it the moment you unlock singularity tech. So there is no real reason to go for 60 SPM. Since there is not much of an end game to go through really, unless you want to unlock uh, a bunch of other stuff, which which we might want to do. So there's a catch with this thing. Um, this thing requires like a lot of power to operate. You can see it takes a, an input of maximum 60 gigawatts, which is like 20 times the power. No. Uh, 40 times our current current power output so we're going to have to get a new power source and I have looked at uh, the antimatter reactor and that thing just seems to work by itself without any infrastructure right so you just build this thing uh, give it uh, the fuel cell which requires matter and it will just work and output apparently 3 gigawatts without any other infrastructure except of the of the reactor itself. So unlike with nuclear power, you don't need to build all this extra infrastructure. You just build the thing itself, feed the fuel cell, and it just works. So that is probably a lot easier to set up than stuff like this, where you need like a dozen water pumps and some highly specific pump mechanics to actually make it all work. So I think we're also going to want the antimatter reactor. Let's actually see how much singularity tech or we would want. 3000 to finish the game. 2000 for this. Um, for the reactor, so that's 5k. This is a new beacon. Nice toys, but we don't need it. Matter cubes seems like a solid way to transport the liquid matter. We don't need just yet, I don't think. Teleporters, yeah, the rest is all like toys, basically. We're already out of singularity tech, actually. This is, this is only this list. Okay, there's definitely... Anyway, there's some, some other one in the end. 
Yeah, the, the highest tiers of armor and stuff. Highest tier of reactor. Well, we'll see if we'll get to that. The thing is, this is so close by. It's just within grasp already, man. It's just insane. I would have thought uh, it would be locked a little bit deeper behind the uh, actual production of some of those new things. But you can just grab it, basically. And it's not it's not at all like space exploration where you need to... Uh, where you go out to that, I don't remember what the resource is called, but you need to go out to some very distant field and you really need to to mine loads, absolute loads of the stuff and properly set that up because you cannot just hand feed your way to the end like I like to do. So this is a good mod for me, I can just hand feed everything <laughs> into the intergalactic transceiver and it will be fine. Because <laughs> yeah, this thing requires 60 gigawatts of power. But our base requires like not even one gigawatt, right? So I guess I will I will use uh, hand feeding. We'll just yeah. So okay, this thing energy capacity thirty terajoules, which is thirty thousand gigajoules, which is five hundred seconds of sixty gigawatts. So we need basically five hundred seconds of sixty gigawatts of power. Then we can activate this thing, and then we can just fall back on a nuclear plant. So we don't actually need to set up a constant 60 gigawatts of power, right? We can just do it for 500 seconds, let's say 600 seconds, to be safe. And then we can just revert back to our nuclear plant. So if we look at the antimatter reactors, 3 gigawatts. 300 gigajoules so if the efficiency is just like a normal 100% that should last for 100 seconds so we need to build 20 of these to get 60 gigawatts and then we need 20 times 6 fuel cells, 120 fuel cells to basically that's all yes 120 fuel cells of antimatter to fill up this 30 terajoule buffer. Well, 100, but we'll, we'll go a little bit over. 120, let's say 120. Yeah, I think that's it, man. Just built 20 of these things. They are quite expensive, but... So just, just built, it's within quotes, but just built 20 of these things. Feed it 120 combined fuel cells. Wait for this thing to charge. Click the button and win the game. That is all we need to do, basically. Man. <laughs> okay, that is um, even closer than I would have imagined. So, what kind of new toys do we... Do we want on top of this? We can get a new substation, a new Mark III mining drill. I think I'm going to try to rush to the end. Just see how far we can get. Before the base uh, does, runs out of resources. Maybe we have stacked up enough resources to get to the end. Because we really don't need to do that much. Superior inserters, those could be good. Like twice as fast as normal ones, they swing twice as fast. Also the long-handed one, actually. The long-handed one is the uh, same speed as the other ones. Advanced pickaxe. Yeah, I think we wanted to unlock at least the advanced furnace and the advanced assembler and see if we could do anything with those. So let's start with that in the background. Advanced chemical plant, not really convinced. Let's start with this and see if we want it, because I do want to use the advanced furnace. It has four module slots, we found out, whereas regular furnaces have only two. So we can use we can use this to smelt the powder into plates, the immersion powder, of which we don't have a lot. And perhaps even advanced the rare metals as well. And then the advanced assembling machine is just a lot faster. 
I don't think it has more module slots than the normal Mark III assembler though, so not really benefits to be found there. All right. <laughs> Quite a bit to take in on an early morning like this. Well, at least here it's early morning. I think we're ready to at least start on the matter stuff. So we need just we, we need a bunch of fast energy control units. I'm not going to set up the whole thing just yet. I'm just going to hand feed my way into having a couple of them available for personal builds. I guess we could like semi-automate semi it. Right, so of course we are going to use... Hey, thanks for the subscription, Corti. Hey, good morning, uh, Stefan. Just forgot to read chat for a while. I was getting too caught up in the in the brain stuff. <laughs> okay, no more ads. Yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence about ads. They don't really. I mean, this channel is still pretty small, and I don't really benefit it from it myself. So. Um, I have the feeling it's the same like with YouTube, where um, if you don't enable ads on your videos, the algorithm will recommend your videos less to people. And it, I'm kind of assuming it works the same way with Twitch, where um, like if you get like channels suggested to you, uh, it's more likely going to be channels which run ads than channels which don't don't run ads, because that's better for Twitch itself. E as well. So I really want to put them off but I think I would be shooting myself in the foot by limiting the the, the potential uh, reach of my my streams basically so yeah if, if I'm wrong about this please let me know but I, I think that is how it works. Okay, we're getting massive, massively, oh, we're getting destroyed in multiple places at the same time, okay. So anytime this number is not one, it's getting very scary. So far, <laughs> though, it looks like we're still good. Actually, we do not have pollution absorption in this chunk, so we need uh, to put some down here as well. Okay, 20 pollution a minute. That's pretty hefty. Alright, so what I did now is I requested a hundred set of ingredients to each and every one of these requester chests. Then we can switch off the requests and now it will just work like a steel chest, basically. Once all of these are complete. The bots are having a hard time filling all the stuff up. Once all of that is complete, we can start the process and we will have at least 800 energy control units plus the 40% productivity, so more than a thousand. <laughs> I don't know how many we need, this could be our end game setup right here. <laughs> yeah, I can reset this and... Alright, no, I cannot reset that. Oops. I think uh, I it was my own mistake. Um, no, the low density structures are not available because I moved them all into into a into a chest which is which is not available for the bots. These over here. But this thing is going to be empty. Yeah, this.
Okay, there goes a full chest of those things back, I guess. Yeah, maybe not a full chest. Okay, only 60 are being picked up, so I guess... Are all the chests supplied, or I just did not copy this? Okay, yeah, the bots are flying again. Now, I could switch off the ads altogether, I think. But I think that will just limit the, the, the reach of the stream and the... That it gets uh, recommended to people. So yeah, I had to... You have to do a minimum amount of ads. I think it's three minutes per hour. Which I have. I have once every hour three minutes. I just don't see myself when it's happening, man. So if I would see it, I could just stop the stream for a little bit. Man, I, I don't really know how to deal with this just yet. So I have the minimum number of ads which allows the pre-roll to not appear. If I would do less than 3 minutes per hour, then everybody would get pre-rolls before entering the channel. Which I think is kind of a... Kind of a death sentence, <laughs> really. <laughs> I mean, if it already starts with an ad, you're just pretty likely to just... Uh, browse further, right? And go watch somewhere where you don't have to watch an ad even just to start. Just to start, alright. We are making energy control units. Which is more view count dependent to be near to the top of a category. Which correlates to viewers joining. Alright, so if you scroll through like Factorio content you get the most viewed channels first, I guess that Sounds logical. Right, I'm already requesting... Okay, look, we already have a hundred of those. <laughs> that goes fast. Right, then we can... I think we should first start on the um, matter stuff. Alright, so matter assembler. Let's make one. It takes 30 seconds to craft one. Matter plant. Let's make one of both and see what they do. Okay, do we already have? I think we already have mineral water here, so we can use that. <laughs> we can basically convert water into anything we like, which is why I'm going to use uh, water. Right, first thing is done. Matter assembler. That allows us to make stuff from matter, so we need the other thing. I think I want a couple of those, the other ones. We can do it a bit faster if we want to get more of them. Let's first check if it does what I think it does. Okay, matter plant. Right, we can turn stuff into matter. That is what we want. We want to turn water into matter. That matter can then go into the fuel cells, the antimatter fuel cells, and that can power our base in the future. So I want to get this process started. Right, let's make a couple more of those. Matter plant, right? Yeah, matter plant. So just control click, resources in and out. And before you can say it, it's already done. And now we have four of those things. Okay, where are we gonna place that? I'm thinking maybe just against the iron mine here. Okay, we already have pollution filters in there. 20 pollution a minute, 
25 megawatts. I think we're just gonna go efficiency on these. There is uh, oh, there goes another raider. Why? I guess the gun turrets weren't. Uh, we got a new expansion, basically. <laughs> another one. Well, there goes my vision in the south, I guess. I guess we need to fix that. Let's make one more advanced raider. We'll put that a nuclear plant or something that will give us the vision we need around this area. Instead of trying to reinstate those. Yeah, those expansions, they can be a problem. We're going to get closer and closer to one expansion every four minutes of the game. At 100% evolution, it's going to be 15 expansions per hour. Starting from one at uh, one expansion per hour at 0% evolution. So we're most of the way there. 2% away from behemoths. <laughs> Yeah, the play show is not over just yet. Everything may still go very wrong. Alright, I think we want to have the mineral water going down the back. And just insert or just output matter into these huge storage tanks. Perhaps like directly or something. Something like that. We'll just output this with pipes. At least I'm assuming we can just put matter, <laughs> raw matter into storage tanks. We'll see if that works. It is time to bring down the pipeline. Where are we going to bring that down? I'm thinking right next to the rails. We cannot quite reach. I think we can reach with one of those fancy steel ones though. Yeah, we can. Alright. So now we need to grab that water and come down over here. I guess that's just for now, we'll put it straight in the middle here, why not? I don't think the bus is going to continue much further, since we only need, need to make these things AI cores. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so I guess as soon as we... As soon as we connect this, it should just switch on, right? Oh, there's the train. Too late to kill me now. <laughs> oh, that's a achievement. Oh, these things are loud, man. Let's get away from them a bit. Okay, we can store it in here. We are making matter. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to fill up 800,000 units of matter, but it is uh, it is going. I think that is the first step done. Let's save matter. But I have got to be making a couple saves. Sorting, yeah, that's the thing. Sorting by default is recommended to you. And that means it's just behind an algorithm. So nobody knows how it works, basically. Everybody's just guessing. Same like with YouTube. All right, the advanced assembling machine is finished. Advanced furnace as well. Do I want to research like advanced mining drills and stuff? I don't really know. And I also I think should I just research this advanced chemical plant for completeness sake? But I can't think I cannot think of a single recipe I would want to use with the advanced chemical plant. Everything which we have is either quite cheap or we just don't need that much of it. Or well, we just need a giant amount of uh, these assemblies. Yeah, I don't know. I cannot think of a one res recipe which would actually benefit greatly from that. <clears throat> All 
right, so that metal stuff is going. Man, that is loud. I'm going to be around here a lot. Okay, let me check which setting. Um, it's like game effects, I think. Or environment sounds. Maybe it's environment sounds. Oh, that's quiet. Yes, yeah, environment sound. Okay, we can we can switch that down a bit because uh, that is just going to be a giant background bus going off all the time. Okay, so by default it's on ninety. Let's put it on thirty, I guess. Yeah, that is plenty loud enough for these things, and also these Mark II miners. They are also very loud. Let's go a bit higher, because these things sound pretty cool. This is still bearable, right? We need to hear the <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Maybe I should have built this somewhere out of the way. It's going to be a constant background bus. Yeah, maybe I will do that actually. Maybe just put it on the bottom side of the mine here. Oh, there are those <laughs> biters. I mean, this uh, belt is empty anyway. So theoretically we can just get rid of... I can just put it here, I guess. Okay, how much is inside? 700. It's 2800. We can just store it in some pipes still. I don't want to throw away what I already produced, but we can move it over to this side. Um, so we can go back to default sounds, except the music a little bit less loud. Sorry about fiddling with the sound settings again. Let's just put it back how it was, because it was good. Nobody complained about it in any stream ever, just yet, so far. the now I need to make this weird squiggle here because the train stop is in the way that's fine this is really loud man Okay, we can just use two pumps to pump that over. Just use a long pipeline, then it will fit all in the pipe, all the stuff we produced. And we just need to pump it out as well, it will be gone in no time. So we can do this, and this, and this, and it's gone. I love pain in my ears. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's a lot better. Okay, the pollution is down to 4 a minute, but we got this filter in this chunk. We don't got a filter in this chunk though. Maybe these trees actually do enough, let's check that out. Not quite. They absorb 3.20. Let's move out of the way. They absorb 3.27. It produces 4. So pollution is going up. Okay, so we, we do need to put a filter in this one as well. And a roboport, I guess. All 
my delivery is coming. Alright, now it's still loud, but once we're on this side, yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's a lot better. Alright. Alright, so I think I want to stop this. I think we're going to switch to advanced furnaces. We've got 12,000 plates already. This buffer chest is going down. It was at 50 something K in the beginning. I want to get maximum productivity out of that. So let's see, what do we need for the advanced furnace thing? That is the advanced assembler. Let's make one as well. Oh, that requires furnaces to make the assembler. Advanced furnace. Let's make two of those. I'm pretty sure we'll need uh, at least two for the two different materials. How is it going with advanced science? Still filling up. Maybe I should lower the... I mean we need 5k, let's lower it to 4k. Since we need only 5k to finish the game. It's not really... If we're going to scrape by with the resources we have. Yeah, still, still 133k per tank. So, well, let's say 1.5 million units of oil. If we're going to scrape by with the resources we have, we should probably not uh, stash up 8,000 of the end game science tech cards. The story with the biters just doing their thing. It doesn't have anything to do with evolution. I just thought it would be fun to have a playthrough where we live together with biters, since the pollution filters allow you to do that. If you consistently place pollution filters in every chunk you produce pollution, the pollution is simply unable to spread, so it's unable to anger the biters. And the biters, they don't react to uh, your base. They only react to your personal proximity uh, and military structures, like raiders, for instance. Oh no. Like that, yeah. See, I placed the raiders and they immediately destroyed it. Because I was within range. <laughs> okay, now I need to make a new one. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty OP. In the beginning I thought it would be boring, but it's not actually. It, it kind of makes sense, you know. This is not a biter focused uh, type of challenge type of mod. So I guess I'll just place a... It's a bit scary to place a raider here. If any biters walk close by here, they will trigger on the raider. I guess let's just place it behind here or something. Right. Yeah, that shows everything we need to see. Look at the amount of expansions here, man. It's just... There's just no more space for expansion, so they just expand all like on top of each other. The thing is, once we get to behemoths, uh, like 90% evolution, then also behemoth worms can spawn. And those things, uh, in vanilla at least, they have humongous range. So they could uh, cause a lot of problems. We'll see how that goes. Alright, we should have the furnaces and stuff. Let's, let's clean up a little bit of the inventory. <coughs> Wait, don't we need this in the end? The assembler. I think I saw something about that. Ah, yeah, this thing. Okay, so we do need the matter assembler to... Put the matter into the future fuel cells. Okay, that's good to know. I think I'll just uh, plop it down. 
out of my inventory, just somewhere over here. Okay, it does have slots as well, so let's put it in. And then it's out of inventory, we can just leave it here. <laughs> Until we need it. Of course I will forget I already put it there and make a new one, but that's for later Mike to worry about. Or to get annoyed about. Right, we are going to play with the advanced assembler thing. And the advanced furnace thing. Oh, they are not the same size actually. Alright, so we can... This is the first thing we want to do. We want to smell these expensive immersion plates in one of these things. 32 seconds crafting time. This thing has a crafting speed of 12 all by itself. That's like 6 times our regular furnace. If we pick one of those. Yeah, crafting speed 2 and 12. So that's like 6 furnaces in one. But of course around a furnace this size a lot more beacons will fit. Exactly not 6 beacons. This is out of range. Alright, so five on each side. I guess we're gonna have a belt coming in and a belt going out. So this should be exactly... No, it's not. A little bit closer. Yeah, now it's touching and we have space for a belt coming in and a belt going out. I want to know to what kind of speed we can get this thing. Okay, let's put this thing a little further for now. Right, so we can possibly... That's off by one. So this is the maximum amount of beacons we can fit around it, I guess. Okay, not all beacons have been placed even. Am I in range of Roboport? I am. Let's put down one here as well. I think uh, we're gonna play a lot with beacons, so I'm going to up the request a bit. Let's say 20 beacons on us. And let's do like 48 of each Mark 3 module. So we don't need to wait on the builds for such a long time. Meanwhile, check if the pollution is not getting out of hand anywhere. All values should be zero. They are, except here, where we made a, a spill like three and a half hour ago. It just takes forever to dissipate on this alien biomes terrain here. As soon as it's under 15, it does not spread anymore. And it needs to go away with 0.07 units per minute for 15 whole units. So that takes like several hours all right we're up to crafting speed 108 <laughs> that means this thing isn't currently as fast as 54 furnaces 54 furnaces Fifty-four furnaces. Oh, we, we need to put the productivity modules in, and <laughs> that barely didn't do did do anything. Crafting speed a hundred and eight. All right, so crafting speed a hundred and eight means it can complete a thirty-two second recipe about three times every second, which means it can consume about twenty-seven powder a second and. 18 rare metals a second. So that's like uh, if we sideload one green belt with powder and metals, it should probably be able to fully consume that at full speed. So I think we only need one of these. And then the output is way less. Yeah, 15 inputs 
become three outputs, so we can probably get away with just a red belt of outputs. Yeah, those are some speedy things, man. And 40% productivity bonus compared to the 20% we we had over here. All right. Okay, we do have some pollution, slight pollution problem in this chunk. I think we need a green loader for this too then. Can I handcraft that? Oh, I can. I have red ones. That's already done. Okay, so that's pretty cool. What about... We just copy this design. And say we want to smelt rare metals as well. There's also, this is 16 seconds. So we can complete this six times a second. 10 raw rare metals, six times a second. That's a full green belt, theoretically. Yeah, it's the green bells from the Factorio Friday effects. I didn't notice the uh, the complaints they were talking about though. I think we should like mirror this build. Oh, we cannot mirror. I kind of like this power line pattern, but we have to flip over this part then. Okay, now we got a sort of symmetric build. We need another green loader. I guess theoretically we need a blue output as well. Since we get 40% productive. I don't know, wait me not wait. For rare metals we do. We're never gonna have that capacity though. Right, let's go with rare metals first. I think we're gonna use this. Just need to figure out where to place it. And what about this assembler? Am I going to place that as well? We can make those end game units in there, like the AI cores. These have a crafting speed of 5, so that's like 4 of these assemblers into 1. Also 4 slots, so that doesn't change much. Except we need, of course, way less of these. How many... How many beacons can we fit around this guy? Oh, this guy can also fit 16 beacons around it. Yeah, let's, let's just check out the stuff on this guy as well. So we could have one of these guys like this. Uh, we need some power. It gets to a raw crafting speed of 45. That's pretty zippy. We can get it all the way up to 55. Or we can put in productivity, which brings down to 42. Okay, we're gonna use these. 42, that's the goal. <laughs> I wonder what mod they will add to the base game next Friday. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Alright, we do have actually a, a pollution filter cleaning plant over here. It is way larger than it needs to be because we had several thousands of backlogs before we actually set this up. And these dirty water tanks are just collecting dirty water. I am not filtering it because it just does not seem worth it. You get really like a pathetic amount of resources from it. There's a mod to mirror blueprints. 
yeah, there's a good reason why they don't let you mirror blueprints, but if you know those reasons, then you, they should let you mirror the blueprints, which can be mirrored, right? Like, like say, you cannot mirror like the sulfur, or you cannot mirror, what am I saying? Let's say the uh, oil, the oil refining, because it has different inputs on both sides. But if you have like a recipe like plastics, it just accepts one fluid, they should let you mirror this. But they don't. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, tangents, focus, focus. Right, let's cut this thing. I'm just gonna place it somewhere else. Maybe. Do we need this power line? Uh, yeah, yeah, we kinda do. <laughs> can it go here? Yeah, it can. Okay, all of these miners are out of juice anyway. So this won't affect any pollution things. They would go up to 22 pollution a minute from 2, so that would be bad. But those are all out of resources, so they are idle anyway. Okay, now we can have... So if, we, if ever we want to make something quickly, we can just make it in this assembler as well. Let's say we want to make a... This is going to be insanely fast. Okay, let's just let's just leave it here. We'll do the example once we actually need it. Okay, let's uh, keep on researching. I don't know what I want to research though. Maybe nothing. If we are going to try to scrooge by. Advanced Roboports. We can research stuff when we need it, I guess. I guess we'll research stuff once we need it, or once we have the new technology card. Yeah, railgun turret, but what, what can I do with it? Nothing really. Okay, let's get rid of those ghosts, as well as those. Okay, let's set up this stuff. That would that will benefit us benefit us immediately. So first of all, I think we're just gonna use two of those green undergrounds to bridge this gap. We now have rare metals flowing over here. They're coming from the mine and they're going all the way over here into this uh, smelter without the productivity bonus. And since we are going to need... We're gonna need a lot of rare metals to smell these plates. And these um, plates are used for gears and beams as well. So that is where all of our rare metals are going to go. Mm. Plate. Alright, so this thing consists of six rare metals from three plates, together with nine powder. So, yeah, just the raw plate requirement plus the uh, plus the immersion gears plus the beams. It's going to cause uh, cause us to need uh, to need a lot of rare metals. It, it maybe would be good to actually. Uh, store up raw rare metals in the warehouse as well, since this thing is full already. Um, wait, this thing is full already. 100k raw uh, smelted rare metals. Anyway, let's first... I think we'll just... pull down this belt. We're gonna need some more of those. How far can that bring us? Like this.
This bell goes to here. Uh, we need one further. Uh, we cannot get it because of... Because of the pipes in the way. Actually, we should probably locate this a little bit better. Instead of just randomly here in the middle. Theoretically, we could... Just connect to this. Maybe leave a part in between, like we did here. And then plop down this on the other side. That's too close to the part. Maybe like this. But now we can just do that. This the lowest belt on the bus is this one. And nothing is going to join the bus before this, so you have to basically go from here to here. We can exactly make that. So let's just rotate this belt down here. This is a stupid place for a warehouse. Let's uh, build a warehouse up here. It does exactly not fit in this. And let's just bend this red belt up here. And I'm going through my loaders fast like this. And we can loader that up. Uh, that, that looks alright. We can load that up. Now we are collecting raw rare metals here. This mine will keep mining. Oh, I, I already did that. Alright, never mind then. For what am I doing this? I did not realize I already did that. The thing is, I want to upgrade this belt then to green, fully. I think we're just gonna move that to here. And then from this thing, we can output it with a green belt without having to upgrade the whole belt. Just like that. So we got a red belt incoming, but we are not using it. And once we'll be needing it, we can have a green belt of, of output. Alright, so now we just actually need to connect it to this furnace. And then we can actually see how fast the thing is. First we need to give the output a little bit of leeway as well. I'm gonna do a mirroring green belt just for the length, not for the output we need to clear this belt okay so i think i'm just what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be outputting the rare metals on this belt which was the raw rare metals belt previously and we're just gonna have the finished rare metals roll over this belt Connect it to this one basically. Alright, so this has to go. Just need to collect this in the chest for now. All the remains of those belts. So 
that's the old the old smeltery stuff and we just need to connect that belt to here like so actually do this and that should solve all of that Right, we are missing the loader now. I'm already thinking, why is it stuck? <laughs> yeah, I need a loader. Gong. <laughs> Do we actually have a Spencer bean <laughs> in the chat? There's one, one guy or bot or pseudo bot which comments gonk on every video he or it or she watches i think we found uh, we found his twitch account <laughs> right, this should work about maybe empty already i'll just leave it up like this i'll grab those i can insert those myself anything else comes we can do that and this and it will even work if we decide to revert those changes All right. Should you, I should add some lights, I guess. Let's first see how the furnace looks in the dark. Let's first insert the stack and just see how fast it goes. That's pretty fast. Yeah, the red loader cannot keep up <laughs> with the speed of this thing. Alright, then let's go blue loader. And some... I guess we can add some green belts to this, just for the first little bit. Okay, let's see if a green loader can keep up. Yeah, it can. Okay, this thing uh, gets emptied out. Oh, man, that is super fast. Okay, let's just get rid of this stuff in our inventory then. That is absolutely blazing. <laughs> Let's see if the green belt can fill up this thing. <laughs> the green belt cannot fill up this thing. We've got a green belt of input coming in. And it is not filling up. It is just not even working all the time. <laughs> that is insane. is 10 raw 10 metals per cycle all right we are we're getting stuck be behind the limits of the red belt now the red belt is blocking the speedy output okay the sound starts to stutter a bit with this crackling when it's uh, working and not working six times a second eats 10 in 16 seconds times 6 it would eat 60 so that's 9 at crafting speed 96 is needed to absorb a full green belt and we have crafting speed 100.8 so we are slightly faster than a green belt of input hey thanks uh, cat cosmonaut for uh, subscribing man Right, the blue loader looks out of place, so we'll replace it with a green one. 
It is pretty cool. I guess we're gonna do the same over here. Yeah, that thing is blazing. Alright, that seems to be working. Now all of this is gonna flow out. Slowly, over time. We are far from producing a red belt because this thing has a mining... A mining time of... 300%, so you need 3 times the normal amount of miners to extract the same rate. But yeah, there's 21k in here, it's going to flow all in here. And we will have it once we need it. Okay, now we need to switch over to the plate smelting over here. Which means we need to get rid of this thing. I mean, I guess we can put this in a passive provider for now, because we won't need it anymore. Okay, so before we did this into the... I think I'm just going to get rid of this setup altogether. Yeah, there's a lot of modules in there as well, which I can reuse. This is gonna hurt again. Uh, such a nice game mechanic. It will kill me. This, will, this is what is gonna kill me. I will carry uranium. And I will bring it to purple science. And I will get run over by the train. That is, that is how I'm going to go. That's my prediction. Alright, let's take an unpowered lamp next to it. So something is blinking on my screen. So I don't forget about it. Then, how do I want to go with my powder? Where is the smelter? It's over here. All right, lithium is on this line. Two chips over here. But they could go up one tile. They're just like temporarily over there. I think we can take this belt. For the powder. So, this actually has to go up one. Then we need to readjust this guy like so. Oh, it even works in reverse, this stuff, so that's nice. I'm just gonna get rid of this belt and rebuild it, so the blue chips are all gone. Ah, no, this, this thing did not need to go. My mistake. Powder common true. Okay, that went well. That went well. How much further do we need to go? Still a bit further. Hmm, yeah, now we're bumping into the lithium thing. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go back up. <laughs> this is not supposed to happen on a main bus. <laughs> Belts ch changing lanes, but here we are. Uh, say we need to go. Where are we gonna go with those plates though? Perhaps we are going down out of the bottom with this one. I'm not sure yet. But let's keep the input on this side. These are the prices of breaking bus rules in the past. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Out of hope, port range again. I am. I need the bots to bring me some bells. We also need 
these rare metals together with the powder so this one has to come forward as well okay, let's stay in roboport range so the boss bring me my green belts anytime soon So I guess we're going to be side loading in this manner. I mean it's not going to go anywhere else but let's just use the splitter anyway. Oh I have the requests off don't I? Yeah I do. Well then the bots won't bring me anything <laughs> do they? Come on already. Wait, yeah, I need these guys with the belts. Here they come. And construction bots take over immediately. And then the bots will go pick up some more belts because they're spent again. <laughs> Not all of them though. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Now I'm running out of range, so the bots are cancelling there bringing over. Okay, let's actually wait. So we don't have an output yet. Yeah, good question. I guess. I guess for now we'll just do... This. Probably I should make it a buffer so I can request those other plates here as well. Yeah, I think we're got probably gonna have plates uh, distribution from this point over here. I'm only doing this because I'm too lazy to walk over and go grab those previously produced plates myself. Actually, yeah, the water is still blue everywhere. Uh, only this garbage is inside, right? The where you can walk over this marsh, swampy marsh stuff. I only know the word Marsh because I played Age of Empires when I was a kid and they had a map called Marshlands which was like this. <laughs> right here they are. I lo love the explosion of bots in all directions man when you make a large request like this. Right now we can just switch it back to provider because yeah. All well, my requested chests are not I could probably just do this with belts then and properly distribute it instead of having bots bring it wherever. Alright, we're ready to test the this furnace and see how fast that will go. Let's make another save. Uh, super fast smelters. This is pretty cool actually. I can already see myself getting sidetracked. Alright, it is keeping up with the with a yellow belt. Or with a green belt. Actually is it? No, it is not. It is not keeping up with the green belt. Look, the powder is uh, is faster. Of course we don't we do not have a 30, 30 powder a second production, we just don't. Yeah, but this belt is nowhere near full. That is how expensive these plates are, I guess. Let's throw this powder inside ourselves while we still can. Yes, if we pretend we have a part here, we should actually make one. 
don't know where this part goes though, I guess just <laughs> down to here. Oh, and lots of pollution. So this is what happens when you cause these things to create like bunches and bunches of pollution. 130 is a minute. So that is two filters worth of pollution. And I did not place those, so we're gonna oh, we're gonna have again that. We again are going to have that endless dissipation, unless I do something about it. Well, let's insert the filter ourselves already. Okay, now it's going down. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, I refuse. I refuse. I'm going to do it. Go, go grab a drink, this will take uh, two minutes or so. Yeah, this is unacceptable. I have waited one time, but this is just too much. I cannot take it. This world should be clean. Oh, I just uh, actually just only two more chunks up here, and that's all. That's not so bad. Then. We get the, we get back the filters. Look at my filter count. It's sixty-seven. I get back the filter which is being consumed. Now I have 68 and now I have 70 because there were apparently two inside. <laughs> Satisfaction denied. <laughs> I was gonna make the joke. But the joke recalled me this time. Last two chunks, suck it out. And it's gone. Clean and shiny, just as it should be. All right, so now we can see the belt stutter. This is going to go through that buffered powder super, super fast, man. Yeah, this is our powder production, it's like half a red belt, not even. And we are pretending we have a full half a full half green belt of production, but we don't. <laughs> Would be nice. <laughs> the ultra cube mod, no, I have not heard about it. It sounds like something like this rubber ducky mod, where you need like one of everything in the game to make it. Stats will look really good for 10 minutes. Yeah, and that's all you need, right? Just post that 10 minute stats shot to whatever forum you want and have try to conv convince people you are, you know what you're doing. <laughs> So we have the basics down now, the, we changed over to the efficient production of, okay this is empty by now, the efficient production of the stuff we need to have efficient. Yeah, this is gonna go down really really fast now. 21,000 crystals. I guess we are going to have neutral output priority. I think we're gonna need more plates than crystals. Okay, so here is also some unaccounted for pollution. I think it's these guys in this chunk. So we're just gonna do this, I guess. That should solve all of that. Okay, 
I think I may need to set up another quarry mine. Our oil is half gone as well. We're gonna have a second train. I mean, we could just we could just use the first rail to grab the oil and then extend it over here. Use some signal to have the trains not crash and bring it over here. It's actually not too bad. We could do that. Right, so the fluid wagons are they larger as well? I'm getting sidetracked again. I can do that later. Let's first set up what we want to set up. Or can I? So the thing is if I first set up signs, I will not be gathering resources, I will be spending them. And then they will be out and then I will be struggling. So probably I should first set up oil and the powder. I think we're gonna make it man though. There's not really that much to do. I don't think so. At least. <laughs> Maybe there is. Science production has stopped by the way. We have 4,000 of those. I'm just gonna copy that. So once we start producing space science and all of these packs are gonna be consumed. All of the resources can actually flow to um, space. I mean, this singularity science. And these won't immediately resume production until at least 4,000 of those plates uh, of those science packs are spent. That's a good thing. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks, Spencer Bean, for uh, for your subscription. I didn't know bots have uh, like bank accounts and stuff. I think we have successfully um, exposed you as a non-bot now. Actually, what I'm talking about, bots do have bank accounts. <laughs> they control the stock market and everything. So yeah, well, a bit premature with my supposed exposure. Okay, I think we're gonna do it. I think we first need to... I think I built two quarry mines. I think I say I think a lot. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, here is another quarry drill. So I built... I did build the second one. Let's go and build it. Since I produced it anyway. One million. I think this one is the easiest to claim. Oh, can we do it without disturbing those bots though? Can we get this up to... Yeah, let's optimize. Let's optimize the stuff. Okay, we're gonna need some beacons. I have beacons. More pollution filters. I have those. I have the modules. I have the quarry drill. What do we need? More. We need crushers, right? To... Yeah, I think we need these, uh, like, 16 crushers again. Okay, crusher. Copy-paste. 16 times this. Approximately. That's approximately 16 crushers. What else do we need? A bunch of belts, I imagine. Yeah, just red belts. Red belts would be good. I have a bunch of those. So how long is this distance? Let's copy some part. 260 belts. That's actually, three, let's say, 500 belts. Okay, bots. Bring 500 belts over here. Um, yeah, and a little bit more for to go around the crusher and stuff. Let's do 1k. We can carry it. My brain tricks me into thinking. Yeah, brains tend to do that kind of stuff. Alright. Now we do the Michael Hendricks patented 
craft a bunch of stuff. Move. That is 16 crushers. <laughs> All right, and 1000 belts. I think we're ready then. I mean, we can craft the insurers and stuff when we need to. Did I make like buffer chests for this? No, they're just passive providers. It's not seem like we have immersive stuff in here. All right. How's uranium? We still have sixteen thousand uranium. So I think we are still good on uranium. That means we can make 16,000 and something purple signs, I guess. Right? That's like one uranium for one science. Plus productivity, plus productivity in the labs. Oh, we should switch over to these for purple and yellow signs as well. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be enough uranium, I think. I don't think the nuclear reactor is gonna be using that much power. You can see the effect of the furnaces when they switch on and off. Blop, 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 blop. <laughs> like 30 megawatt jumps. Okay, um, focus. Okay, this is gonna get dangerous, so I probably want to make a save again. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Danger time. Okay, so just to show that it's not unpeaceful, they will just target me and they will attack me as I come close by and they will very quickly destroy me. So we actually... How the heck did I spell danger? <laughs> That is very misspelled. Denark time. Okay. It's Denark time. Alright, so I need to basically let my bots do it. Worms will target the bots. But I should be able to do this. Okay, the worm was busy doing his King Kong scream, so he didn't fire before the bot was out of range. It is in this chunk, which is good. Pollution is not going to be in this chunk. How close can I get? Like this, maybe. And move in the forest a bit. And get closer like that. Yeah, that's pretty close for a mine to be next to a biter base, don't you think? <laughs> Look, this guy is just permanently active. Uh, probably because of me, but still. Okay, so first things we need... <coughs> absolutely first thing we need to do is... Get these things down. Um. I guess we'll just put them down here. We also need to extend that roboport range. So we can do that all the way. With a substation. What the heck? Oh, I did mark this for deconstruction. Oh no. Oh no. I thought I just copy pasted that. Apparently I did take out something. Don't know how that happened. Okay, we need to go fix that. I'm sorry about it, but production has to continue. No, all our resources are basically dying. <laughs> I guess we walked around here and the boss just could pick up that little bit over there. 
How are we doing on fuel cells? 334 per chest. Yeah, it's gonna last a while. <clears throat> I did not get excessive levels of mining productivity. I think I just have the basic 30%. And that's it. We mouse over on the yeah, productivity plus 30%. Pollution is 30 a minute. So I guess we went for minimum pollution with that. I think I want to just get up to a half of a red belt of powder with uh, with beacons. So we need to do some calculations. This mines at 10 per second. But it was like 200% mining time, right? If I take this off. Yeah, mining time 200%. How am I going to get beacons in there, though? Or, um, modules? <laughs> I cannot reach that. <laughs> do I have speed modules in here? Oh, I do. Alright, I'll just copy this one. And I'll just copy-paste it with speed modules and all. Alright, then the bots will bring the speed modules. Okay. Big worm still didn't fire yet. Yeah, I, I'm not doing the infinite ones. They are like super, super expensive, I feel. Thought about doing two levels, but I don't know. 5k is 8k of those... Uh, I guess the base is mostly idle and it does not, not cost us any... It does not cost us anything. Other than rocket launches. We're gonna do oil. Maybe I'll get to 50%. That makes the calculation easier, so let's do it. Okay, I did it. We are going mining productivity 4. Now we're using all that power. Well, not all, but you can see the spike from the labs again. This is our base. <laughs> and this is the labs. <laughs> Alright. So this now outputs 240 pollution a minute. Okay, we need to divide by 2 because the mining time of the resource is 100% or 200%. So we get 10 a second with mining productivity 5, we get 50% bonus, so that's 15 a second. That's exactly, okay. So once we have that mining productivity, I cannot show it now because we, we I blocked the belt. But this belt was not fu full before. With mining productivity 5, this belt will be full. That's the idea, at least. Yeah, this was a bad call. I can just I uh, let's let's uh, reload. I I don't know. Let's reload that. I do not want to do that. Eight thousand of those science packs. It will take forever. I didn't do anything just yet. Oh, I did do anything just yet. So the thing is, yeah, 8,000 science packs which researches in those four labs, it's gonna take forever. It has no benefit at all. Not really. Maybe it has. The other resources also will last a little bit longer, but the cost will be much higher. And eventually it will just lead us to having to renew all resources. I think I can just scrape by and get to the end with this. I just want to get more than one of these miners in because it feels very cheap to just <laughs> finish the game <laughs> on one of the one of these all right let's copy this all 
Right now we get. Right now we're gonna get in the infinite re repair cycle. I think. Ah. <laughs> He needs to do his little war scream instead of shooting. Okay, we got it. We got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got it. Now we need to place beacons around it. How that's gonna go, I don't know. Alright, so we are at 13 a second. So we basically need like a 15% speed bonus, like 16%. And then we gonna be good. Just wish I could test that in a little more, a little better way. Um, I need to copy a beacon, a speed tree beacon. Well, that's probably out of his range. But this does not count unless it is powered. That's the problem. So I guess we'll just... Do this. We power the beacon, but not the miner. Okay, now the speed is... 25 a second. That should be enough. Yes, that's way more than enough. Yes, twelve and a half plus thirty percent, and we need to get to fifteen. So that's yeah, that's 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 already way beyond what we need. Pollution three hundred and cent per minute. So let's copy some efficiency beacons. Each each one decreases it by thirty. We're at two twenty. We want to go Man, those I cannot just get I cannot get closer, man. Okay, let's do it from the map view. Right, he missed, that's good. I need to power the power the beacons without powering the miner. <gasps> okay, that's a hundred pollution a minute. This brings it down to 70. And then we have enough with just a single pollution cleaner yeah but I did uh, I reloaded and I forgot that uh, I did not place this thing just yet that could have been pretty bad but yeah we should have enough with <laughs> just one of those Okay, can I clean up this mess a little bit? Now we can switch it on, it does not matter. And this beacon reaches everything. Okay, now it is mining. <gasps> Pollution is going up, yeah, the bots haven't brought the filter yet. Alright, we are compensating. Okay, pollution is not gonna spread as long as this filter is running. Even though this thing is running at full speed. Okay, that is good. <laughs> okay, now let's, let's just do this a little bit more neatly.
something like that. That looks okay, I guess. And now we gotta find place to do another one of these crusher loops. How is that gonna fit? Look at this semi-circle of those things. I think we're just gonna do that here. That seems the best location. It doesn't need to be right next to that minor thing. You can do it here, in this chunk, like this. And put two of those pollution filters in these chunks as well. Don't forget the air filters. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. I have a f I, I have a feeling I'm 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 pushing my luck a bit too much with <laughs> this living with biters thing. It's going to come back and bite me in the bottom. Of course it cannot reach by one tile. Well, let's do it like this then. Right, I do not have... I need 32 filter inserters, okay. Apparently. <coughs> okay, then we just need to sideload that stuff from here. Onto this belt. I guess we just go adjacent to this. Why not? Okay, now we rotate it. Okay, that goes down already. We just need to connect this. Does that line up straight? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I do not need underground belts under trees. Thank you very much. Only under a lot of trees. Holy moly. Seven gift subscriptions. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Skelter. That's a lot of... That's a lot of gift subscriptions. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, we got the 42. Ah, that's... Thanks, man. <laughs> the true 42. <laughs> wow. Okay. Still don't know what to say on, on these kind of events. I, I'm so bad at this stuff, man. <laughs> Okay, it does line up with this thing, but it lines up kind of ugly. I don't like the loaders at the... <gasps> yeah, I'm standing way too close. Oops. How the heck did they not trigger on me? It's just so close. <laughs> oh, that's gonna keep ringing for a while, I guess. Right, now now we should see if I click this chest. Actually no, the belt has stopped. <laughs> oh actually I did have I did already integrate that into the design. Man, thanks uh Skelter. It's uh it's really awesome to see the to see this channel grow so so fast. So the, uh, I don't know. I should practice some responses or something. I I really don't know what to say to this. Just playing some game. All right. So now it's going to go around. That means if the mod worked out correctly, we should be slightly overproducing. Can I 
do this one more time. Okay, see, it's just ever so slightly going up when we are consuming it at full speed. So we are mining fast enough. Now we just need to upgrade that other guy. Go away. We need to upgrade that other guy as well. Yeah, we have armored biters here. I don't know, they... I don't see... I don't think they pose a lot more of a challenge than regular biters, to be honest. They don't have... They don't really have more armor. Like, they have the same 8 armor resistance than the big biters. They have then, on top of that, 20% instead of 10. And a lot more hit points. But they are also a lot slower. A lot... Slower. A lot slower. And, uh, yeah. They are kind of dangerous in a big group, I guess, but... You know, big biters are super fast, you know, they... Especially behemoth biters are super fast as well. They will wreck you easily. But, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't have too much problems with these guys. They don't really have excessive armor or something. I was gonna take a shortcut, but apparently I am not taking a shortcut. Right, so, actually let's first connect this. Okay, that does automatically work as well. So that's the <laughs> factorial logic. To bypass this cliff, which goes down hundreds of meters, or like... Maybe tens of decimeters. <laughs> we need an underground belt <laughs> to pass through that. All the way through the ravine. Okay, uh, can we meet up somewhere with that other belt? Where are we now? Oh, we are straight at our uranium mine. Okay, we have our splitter thing over here. I guess we could just hook into this one. Go like that. Maybe just uh, come along over here. Yeah, I think that would work decently. Um, then we do need to make sure that the... This pink stuff is on the other side of the belt, because... Or we need to upgrade the speed of this stuff. Because if it's on the same side, it will just get blocked by the speed. We're gonna have a full belt of powder production. So it should be on the top side. The pink stuff should be on the top side. But it's not. But we can probably do some cursed transition stuff to make that happen. Let's see where it's best to route that then. Just gonna follow this. Are we gonna follow this as well? I think we are. Cannot pass. Let's use a blue belt then. Sneaky blue belt. Alright. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Perfectly nice straight edges as everybody loves. Oh yeah, we still need to do the switch routing. So we're going to do this balancer. And we're going to have output priority for the powder on one side. And that switches it around. Right. The belt now would go this way. Yeah, it's switched now. The powder is on top. And here it's on the bottom. Right, so that should be everything we need to do for that. So that should be a full belt of powder.
If it was working, apparently it's... Oh no, it is working. Okay. Pollution, no pollution. So why are we not consuming half a belt of this stuff? Or are we? Powder. Oh, it's only one powder thing. Alright, so we were producing 780. We're not producing double. Or are we? I mean, the belt coming out of here is full, so that's good. No, I guess it must be good. I'm probably just imagining things. We have a full belt going in here now. We're finally going to be making some serious landfill now. So yeah, we already fully consumed the buffer while we were setting up all of that with our plate C plate thing over here. Uh, 24k. This chest is full though. Still producing these beams. Okay, and crystals. Yeah, things are looking good. I think it's good we did that. The other thing we wanted to do is the oil. Yeah, we are we are at scraps of oil. We already lost more than 100k per tank, so it's really going to have to be next. So we're gonna need another train, two train stops and some signals. I want the nuclear trains again, they take a long time to make. So we're gonna do it in the assembler. These also take a long time to make. I can make two of them, so probably I can just do this. One in here. Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. This is the this is the perfect opportunity to test out that super speed assembler with its uh, 55 crafting speed. Okay, let's see how fast we can make a train. A train takes 10 seconds to make. Let's see how fast it makes it. One. Okay, <laughs> sorry, a train takes 60 seconds to make. I was wrong, not 10 seconds. 60 seconds, a full minute. That was a full minute of... We can do it again. This thing, 60 seconds crafting time. Can I make those? I can. So let's see what 100 of 120 seconds of crafting time looks like in this machine. It looks more like uh, 2 seconds than 2 minutes. Alright, that's our locomotives, I guess. We need fluid wagons. Are they also slow to make? I'm kind of scared that they, these craft so fast that I cannot control that in time. 20 seconds for cargo wagon. 20 seconds for fluid wagon. Alright, let's make two of them. Okay, I need those reservoirs. Okay, I can control that then. I just make two of these. It takes three seconds a piece, that lasts forever. Alright. <laughs> this thing is so fast. That's gonna be quite useful, I imagine, for some stuff. Yeah, but th this only will strengthen my hand feeding addiction, man. <laughs> That's going to go very wrong if you give me access to these kind of things. Alright. 
I think I have. St I still have. A, I should have done this first. I still have a bunch of rails in the chest. Or do I? On the forty only. Okay, that's not going to be enough, is it? Nah, it's not going to be enough. So we're going to need some. What do we need to make rails? Something else in this mod. Uh, steel beams and stone. All right, stone. Easy. Stone. Steel beams we have on us. Right, we gotta switch off the request because I automatically am dispersing of any stone. Yeah, now we're gonna want to upgrade the size of this thing. Though... Yeah, I should, I should have the storage warehouse back. I just don't want to block this area too much. I don't know. I have a feeling I may need it at some point can do something stupid like output the plates over here and then input the plates again. Okay, why are we not gathering this stuff? Are we out of chlorine? We are out of chlorine. Why are we out of chlorine? Because we are... This tank is full and that blocks the system from the chlorine production. And that's because we are not making rocket fuel anymore because we're not launching rockets. So. Long story short, I should have been researching <laughs> uh, optimization. All right. I actually have refrained from doing this before, but hmm, I don't want to add a tank to the system. I'll just do it. I'm gonna do it. Unless chat says something now, I will delete it. And time is up. <laughs> I didn't give you the chance. I guess there's too much delay on the stream. <laughs> All right, we have the chlorine working again. That means the miners should be reactivating. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get this stuff again. Right. <laughs> 23 page essay on why you shouldn't de delete your hydrogen. I will only consider that if you deliver it in threefold, handwritten. I think these can use some lights, they don't really glow in the night that much, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some of that superfluous stuff where we just output these plates. I got distracted, didn't I? Was I not working on trains or something? I think I was. Yeah, yeah but this needs to continue this production. I want to do it semi properly. Am I gonna landfill that? I think I am. Put it on the same... Yeah. On the same uh, line like that one. Switch back to requests, back on. Yeah, so why did I decide it should be here? And not like here? Yeah, I didn't. Oops, I already placed the landfill though. That is definitely annoying. Well, I guess we're going with... I hate, I hate how the loader looks right on the edge, man. I guess the loader is still okay-ish, the unloader is pretty crappy. Uh, I'm gonna make two more patches of land. Let's do it like that, we need some lights over here then. Or something, to justify. <laughs> yeah, 
it still doesn't look right, but it'll have to do. Alright, now we can do this. And then we'll do this. We'll hoop, hoop that up again. So are we actually going to have a belt output of that stuff? That's a good question. Or are we just gonna go like... we're just gonna go by I think we're gonna go by request this will basically recall all my bots over to bring all the bots in the entire base will be coming back to do this transfer Let's watch some bot explosions. Nice. <laughs> man, I, I love how that looks, man. That looks so awesome, al always. Man, they are going to some distant robots, are they not? Oh yeah, the robots have only three slots in here, so... Oil is in desperate need of upgrades. Yeah, yeah, I... No, yeah, I guess yes. <laughs> okay, I should probably stop that. much garbage on me way too much way too much way too much these are all put back my, back myself okay yeah, that's what we want we want slow beam production they are not needed for science we just need them for machines and we don't want to eat through our entire storage here gears we do want because they are required for Science directly, and a lot of them too. Four per single science pack. So this one is against these beacons, but this one is not. Alright. Trains stuff. I did request a chest with stone somewhere. That's why I switched off these things in the first place. Then we can make rails. Then we can switch this on again. Alright. We need some signals as well, or the trains will crash into each other. Also gonna need some more pump jacks actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we place all of those without polluting the biters? It looks like we can. This oil is exactly in this chunk. And the biters are all in this chunk. This is actually two chunks away from the biters. One, two. <laughs> so yeah, that's a... Uh, this is going to be... <laughs> this is stupidly close to the biters though. Okay, I'm going to have to copy-paste. Because there's no way I can put modules in there. If you ever wanted a good reason why you should not deconstruct your old miners, well... There are no reasons except maybe this one where we want to build those things right next to existing biter bases. Yeah, no, not not great, not not a great argument I'm making. But here's another one, and there's two more here, somewhere hidden in the forest. Okay, I'm going to do this from the map view and I'm just gonna rush in in one single push six pump jacks oh god I need to stand somewhere with in range of those um, roboports probably should extend robot range to these guys here as well
Okay, then bolts, they will bring me that stuff, which I need to make pump jacks. Now it's night, so we can't see anything. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna rotate this. If the biters are part, if they wish so. But definitely not gonna put a raider next to these guys. Okay, I'm going to use this, uh, this on whitelist, right? Yeah, whitelist. To deconstruct these rocks. You know, give the biters a little bit more freedom of movement. Let's get rid of some of the trees so we can see our beautiful build in action. Also, we definitely, before we power any of it, we need to make sure we have these things in here with the filters. So I guess like that. And we'll just put in the other power lines later. Okay. So where is power gonna come from? Perhaps just from up here. That could work. And we need to put a roboport there. Okay, six pump jacks. Let's switch off my personal bots for now. Six pump jacks. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Normal players don't build just down the block from Python's nests. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a little bit of a strange playthrough. Finally, it's time to extend that. Am I gonna load the train just over here? Maybe in this chunk, even. I think we can just let the bots do their thing. Probably should watch it from the map view. Where am I? I'm standing over there. I think we should be good. Okay, we are standing a little bit out of range. It's uh, so convenient that biters and especially spitters are not reacting to bots, man. Like the worms. The worms just snipe you, but these guys, they just don't care, man. Right, we need a roboport in there. That roboport needs to be powered as well. I think I am close enough. I can get close enough. Yeah, okay. Okay, pollution filters are working. That means we can place the power. Alright. There you have it. <laughs> working pump jacks. <laughs> right next to a biter nest. <laughs> a good shot to pour myself some coffee <laughs> okay the pump jacks are idle the pipes are full okay and we need gonna need to make that train train thing um i have these bricks again all right Did I make two train stops actually? I don't think I did. 
Train stops. No, I didn't. Okay, half a second. Okay, we can... We can manage half a second. Uh, nuclear fuel cells. Right, we are not making any fuel cells anymore. Because we are under... Um, I set it up so that it only makes fuel cells if we have over 20,000 uranium. But we have less now. So all of the fuel cells are locked in here. So we're going to need to pick up some. That's also meaning that other train is no longer receiving... Actually, I never, uh, I never automated fuel cell delivery to the trains. It's still running on its first fuel cell. Okay, then we'll get to the end on that. All right, that, uh, no worries. All right. Then we need to do the thing where it loads up. I don't know how I will do that. Maybe I can just do like a huge oil tank here again. Perhaps just two of them. Alright, uh, let me just copy one, so we don't need to wait. Now that seems a bit off. We can do this, connect it like this, put the pumps in like this. That should work, this one is already active. Okay, so that works. Now we just need to connect the oil. So how much... Uh, whoa! These things have equipment grids. Alright. Locomo ah, locomotives also have equipment. 12 by 12. Well... I don't know. What am I supposed to do with these? I mean, okay, if you like have an artillery train or something, you can throw laser defenses in there and stuff. Train with legs. Uh, they won't let you put legs in the train. <laughs> that's, a, that's too bad. Extra acceleration in the locomotive. Uh, what, how is that gonna help me, man? I mean, I have two trains. This this thing, these things pump at an incredible speed. I just want to know how much volume this thing has. 25k. All right, so that's kind of a bummer. That's the same as vanilla, whereas the ore train has like four times the, the capacity because. The stack size of the ore is increased by four, four times. So from 50 to 200, these wagons carry 8,000 ore apiece instead of 2,000. But the fluid wagons are basically the same as in vanilla. This is just stupid. This is just stupid. <laughs> let's not look at it. <laughs> okay, let's connect the oil. Okay, we need to look at it some more, I guess. I cannot get much. I cannot get to. I cannot get close enough, man. Uh, let's just come in from the south. Yeah, I'm not gonna do like passive splitter things or something. Let's just do this. Uh, we can do a steel one. That reaches. Alright, here we go. Oil train is loading. Yeah, this train is gonna be plenty fast enough, man. I mean look at the oil production rate. It definitely look how look how fast it pumps empty. It's already all in this one. So there's now 10k in here. If I do this and this. Ah, okay, it's not getting back in, uh, and this then, I guess. Yeah, it pumps 
incredibly fast. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's very, very fast. Yeah, I probably... I know they are connected to this pipe. Okay, so it can flow in both of the wagons. We need to go get some fuel. Can't wait for the stacked items. I have mixed feelings about these stacked items. On one side, I am a belts, I'm a belts guy, right? I like belts. I mean, I hardly ever build chains. I'm just doing it basically for... The meme factor, I mean, who builds a chain straight to the base over the walkway like this? <laughs> Could have done it with belts. I like belts, but I think it makes belts too powerful. It is just, uh, I mean, the limit, the transportation limits feel quite right to me. And once you get up to like the mega base phase with a 1k SPM base or a 10k SPM base even, it feels right, you know, the amount, the sheer quantity of belts you need to pull that off if you don't use trains. It has an epic feeling to it, but if you get like the the new green belts at 60 items a second, which stack four things on top of each other, that's, uh, that's like five blue belts and one belt or something. That's just too much, man. It's just too much. The G10 actually. Okay, we're just gonna grab a couple of these and we'll repurpose them ourselves. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it back to the train. We have to heal up. Basically, I want to refuel my iron train as well. Just give it a stack, you know. How is actually our reactor doing? Okay, we insert one fuel cell in this thing in the very, like, at least 20 hours ago. And this is what we used <laughs> for power. Okay, so we're going to get to one single fuel cell until the end of the game, basically. Let's recall this train back. Gonna insert a stack in here. Okay, we can outpace that. Okay, I'm giving it eight more because I gave it two in the beginning. Okay, it's almost through its first fuel cell, the train. Ah, this thing has, yeah. The train has a fuel efficiency of 10%, so it uses 10 times more f fuel than the actual uh, energy usage it claims it has, which is 30 megawatts. So it uses 300 megawatts of power to accelerate and drive. Whereas the this thing in the reactor has an efficiency of 200%, so it uses twice the amount it can extract twice the amount of energy in the fuel cell. So, there's a pretty big difference. Yeah, you can also you can also hold uranium in your hands without any problem. Like you can just uh, walk around with it like this. You can place it on your head. You can take a sip. It's all fine. You can throw it on the ground. But if you like put it in your logistics trash slots for the bots to pick up, now it's hurting. Uh, bots, I'm standing outside of range. Okay. Come on, bots, save me already. Okay, everything is gone. Fuel is going back to the nuclear plant. 
Why is it stupid iron? <laughs> because it's a stu <laughs> because it's a stupid rail line. <laughs> I don't know, it was just a spur of the moment thing. Right. Okay, now we have the half belt of consumption, exactly. And the half belt of production. Probably should add some, if we want to optimize it, add some. Probably we should side load the last one. So the belt is always full because the inserter. Sometimes during the swing time misses an opening and the belt is not compressed, blah blah blah. Also we can just upgrade a short section of the belt to be faster, that will help, or that will solve the problem as well, that the inserter cannot keep up. Okay, now we gotta drive somewhere with this guy. Now we gotta remember, I didn't do train signals and I don't know how long, man. Um, I think we're gonna need both some train and some chain signals to avoid lockups. Not too many. I'm just gonna make like one giant block. All right, little Johnny got one, got another bot yet again. I do have the little Johnny guy in the in the emotes actually, for those who know who he is. <laughs> All right. So uh, let me see, I think this guy needs a rail signal here and a chain signal on this side. This guy will then loop to the front, I think that's all we need basically. And on the other side another set, so first we need to decide. First we need to decide where this train is branching off. I guess it has to be here, like right in front of... About here. The spiders are pretty far away from the nest. This guy is stuck on the between the cliffs here. I think we'll go like this, then we can go up here. So this guy needs a chain signal to check if the next signal is green and the next signal is gonna be... No, this is not correct, is it? This uh, is always gonna be free. But the chain signal is also gonna be red if this train is traversing this section, right? Probably I want... Let's make one more locomotive, so we can test it, uh, test, test it out. Alright, so now we got this, this separate blocks here and then the central block is a shared block. That's the only place where the trains are gonna interact. Now we're gonna need to do this a billion times. All right. Oil is gone. Oil is fully gone. I guess we still have some reserves in here. 120k petroleum gas. Sulfuric acid is no longer keeping up for some reason. Where are we using that much sulfuric acid then? We're not even researching anything. Where are we using all our sulfuric acid? It's not blue chips. This is again full. This is again full. This is using sulfuric acid, the crystals here. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. This is why I wanted to rush to the end without expanding, because now, oh, we just built another mine. Oh, now we don't have enough sulfuric acid to feed the crystals. 
Oh, now we don't have enough oil. Oh, now we don't. It's just the, the typical thing, man. I could have finished already. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, I think we can build the rail, I hope I aligned this right, I did not. Okay, so basically that means we'll attach two other three, three tile wide storage tanks to it. I did align it properly on the top, maybe I can do it from the top then. Is that stupid? Kinda, because we have to go around. I guess I'll just have two of these outputy guys. Kinda looks alright, I guess. So we need some pumps. Like this. Like this. Now it fits next to the train line. That is good. What's this? Biter creep. Single unit of forgotten biter creep from the early game. Alright, another train stop. That will align decently. Probably will look. Uh, it looks alright. One, two, three. That means after this one, we can bend the track. Is that enough? No. Okay, so if we want to connect to here. How does that thing... Oh, that's actually, that looks better than what I had in mind. I think we'll do that. Oh, that actually fits like this. Let's go one tile higher. That does not look right. Yeah, it looks better. Not uh, cropped into each other. Okay. Alright, so now. Oh, oi, 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 oi. Oh, biters. Let me check the <laughs> thing. So now I put a train is in here. This is red. This is green. But importantly, this one should be red. Yeah, it is red. So this train will stop here because there's a train in the central block same for the other guy signal here is green but this chain signal will look ahead to the next signal see that this train is in this block and it's red so this train will stop here so they both will stop if a train is in the central block and that is the important condition okay what's going on just a bot shooting bonanza over here again. What about, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I need signals on both ways. So let's move this up a little bit. Right, so now we need to do the same thing. Because now we only did it that if the train is coming from this way, it looks to the signal on the right. On the left there is no signal, so we still need to do that. So here is just going to be the same but mirrored. We're going to have this one over here. And the other one over here. I need to space that out a bit better. Okay, let's uh, walk over to the other side. What survive? Oh, yeah, he did it. Oh, he saw the tactical maneuver. <laughs> he went to recharge just as the asset was going to kill him. So we'll move this back 
a little bit as well. Opposite. Now I'm not thinking, now I'm just doing. So this may go wrong. Alright. No, I think it's right. So now this guy... ...has a blue signal. Because one of these blocks behind it is filled. But he needs to go to this one. So if I now... This one is over here. If I now send this train over here, it will start to drive. Let's do that. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, just go back. I think that should be good. This guy looks to the right. It has... Approaches the change signal. Yeah, change signal. Okay, everything is... I think everything is good. I, I'm sure... Some... People in chat will let me know if I didn't. But this looks alright to me. I just need to walk all the way back to pick up that. Uh, that signal. Uh, that uh, locomotive. I'm going to place it in the center. And we're just gonna see which train goes on the block first. And if they wait for each other, that should be the case. <laughs> Look at me building a train network. What's going on? Alright. Okay, so now this guy is blocking the way. Now we set this guy to go to the iron mine. He will stop at the signal. Then we set this guy. And we need to put a schedule there. Uh, less stupid oil pickup and the other one fairly normal oil delivery delivery I'll, let's go with delivery why not let's deliver the oil to the oil delivery point <laughs> the annoying thing is you cannot find your stations if you give them stupid names like this. Alright, that should do it, right? Just simple as that. Automatic. Here it goes. But it will stop at the signal because my personal locomotive is in the way. Now one of these will drive first. Is it this one or the other one? Hopefully not both at the same time. Alright, I guess if I crash the rail, okay, even if I took out a piece of the rail, this guy is still waiting. Here comes the iron delivery. Alright, does seem to work, a single time. Man, those things go <laughs> so fast through this corner. Alright, yeah, that is going to take a while to empty out if <laughs> we don't supply power to the pumps. <laughs> it's gonna take a very long time. And it's empty. Let's hop in. Oh, this train is already here. Alright, not bad. Okay, I, I definitely do not want to stay in this train because the biters will attack me. <laughs> and it's full again. Okay, that's going to take a couple cycles. It's pretty scary to jump on a moving train. Yeah, this is gonna shuttle back and forth a couple times because these oil tanks are fairly full, I would imagine by now. Yeah, 140k, that's going to... We're going to be under a lot more risk uh, for the next couple... The next half hour or so. <laughs> Alright, let's again get out. 
<laughs> yeah, that thing is going to be shuttling non-stop for a while until it catches up with the actual oil production like probably like 10 more non-stop trips and then it will slow down okay we did some stupid stuff which was probably necessary maybe not i don't know we'll see the thing is if you go for the finish immediately but then you fall short then you still need to do it the things you uh, put off doing and it's going to take longer because you haven't been producing all that time okay so these guys are not visible i just want to put a radar down here yeah to make this section visible as well the bots have been i had a nice cross of radars in the early game but the bots have expanded the uh, <laughs> hey, Kvalum I didn't know you were in the chat already. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, man, for 10, gift, 10 gifted subscriptions. Holy moly. Man. Yeah, still, still same problem. I just <laughs> don't know what to say to these things. Thanks a lot, man, just for helping the channel grow, getting more reach, I guess. I bet that will help a lot more. I think I will, I will, I will experiment with switching off the advertisements and see if if that affects my stream views. I don't know if I can do that mid-stream, actually. I'll try it for the next one, yeah. Okay, for the next stream I'm not going to have um, commercials up and see how that affects things. Yeah, this is a good place to do some uh, mod packs, I guess. Astorio is still manageable. Looks like we're looking at like sub 50 hours to complete it. But you know, if I would try to make an edited series out of space exploration, it would cost me all my life. Man, those bells keep going off. Alright, how is the mining stuff going? Looks like we are mining stuff again. And uh, where is that stuff? Over here. Okay. Full of chlorine. Okay, not all the miners are full of chlorine still. Right, what can I do with... Uh, looks like we have a hydrogen problem over here. What can I do with this stuff? Except delete it. Because it uh, looks like it's going to be clogging up a lot. Do we have like a flare stack or something? Ah, oh, we do have a flare stack. Ah, that, well, that's easy. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a little too easy. Especially it causes pollution, but pollution anyway is neutralized by those filters. What else can we do with this hydrogen? Please tell me we can do something with it. No, we cannot. Well, we can make it into water with oxygen, I guess. 50 units of water. I could do that. This one already. 
Let's do this. I don't know if I sh really should do that though. This sounds so stupid. Okay, if I turn it into water, I could do it like this. Um, So, <laughs> mm. yeah. like this could be here. And this could be like this. And it can, cannot be like this. This is gonna look stupid. How do I even make it into water? How long does it take to make that into water? Should I really solve this problem? Or should I just build a flare stack? Well, I, can, I can use the water... Uh, I can pipe the water into the nuclear uh, reactor. That will get rid of as much water as you can imagine. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's see if the crafting time of water is too long. Five seconds for 50 units of water. This could be a use case for that advanced chemical. Let's let's research. Okay, I found an excuse to research the advanced chemical plant. Let's do it. That thing is super polluting though. I think we have, yeah, here. I remember I put it on the list. Oh, it's gonna be next to some Mark III speed beacons as well. <laughs> That's gonna be too polluting, man. I cannot afford that. But I do it on this side. I guess we are consuming water here as well, actually. That may just do it. Yeah, we consume 40 water to make 30 hydrogen. And then we are consuming 20 hydrogen to make 50 water. It's not actually enough. There is that recipe again. Oh no, 30 hydrogen to make 50 water. So we need 40 to make 30 and it puts back out 50 with the oxygen. Alright, but that's, I bet that's most of that water gone. Oh man. Yeah, I, I will limit the water pump in the storage so that the storage never fills up. Okay, the, okay, it fits here. There is that advanced chemical plant again. Over here. Something like, oh, that lines up nicely actually. Okay, now we need to first hook up that. Reservoir. To the pump. Cannot connect to wire. Okay. Never mind. Oh, that is annoying. That is annoying. Okay, I, actually, we can fix that. It will limit our movement options, but this will work. The problem is we cannot do it next to the tank, because then it will only pump one way into the tank, right? So we need to do it on that side or create some sort of a loop of some kind. But this will work. Uh, only if you read water level less than 10k. That leaves 40,000 units of space. For water. So let's see. Will it stop at 10k? Yeah, it does. Kind of. Well, it's not it's not exact mathematics. On the right side it says 10k here. Here it says 11k. 10.3. Yeah, alright. That's 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 good. 
Okay, but then... I get rid of this stuff. This stuff. I guess we can put this back like this, because it looks nicer. Somehow. For some reason. I just need to know which input goes on which side then. So we need to wait for the actual... Maybe we can just do a normal chemical plant with the recipe. Okay, white is going to be on the left. Uh, this has three inputs, so I cannot really be sure of it. Okay, let's wait until we have the technology complete. Then we'll do that. In the meantime, I will go speed up the other immersium mine to also output half a belt with the beacons, like we are getting on this side. And we're gonna fix this other one as well, like I mentioned. There's two ways to do it. One of them... One of them is to actually side load like this. That will give the inserter time to pack up this belt and it will keep full every time the problem is though we have two outputs so we cannot really do that very efficiently the other way to do it is just doing this on your last few um, you cannot do this if you're already using the maximum belt speed and this is like Oh, it's about to be 43, 43, 43. <laughs> oh, I am missing something. <laughs> oh, we have 69 viewers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I was missing something. Right, this, this should always give the... <laughs> This should always give the inserter space to output and then it will back up on the faster belt before it meets the the slower belt again. So this should also lead to a full compressed belt. <laughs> no, somebody left! How could you do that? <laughs> that is breaking the code, man. You cannot do that. Hey, thanks, uh, Slice Lime, for the sl slice. The lime. That is that is a confusing name. Thanks for the subscription, man. Okay, advanced chemical plant is already finished because again I spent too much time going off on different kinds of tangents. Switch off the light for once, that blinking thing which is always present in all of my videos ever. Just don't see it. Somehow I just don't see it. Alright, so how many beacons do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mark ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so we can just add a speed three beacon. Theoretically. No, we cannot. Now it's a hundred pollution a minute. Wait, why? Actually, let's first neutralize that again. But why is that then? What is this thing doing differently? Ah, we have eight beacons. Oh, alright. Okay, I see. So like this, basically. 70 pollution a minute. This is the only thing in this chunk, so that should be good. Yeah, we are at zero. All right. Okay, now this thing should be... Yeah, now this is starting to fill up ever so slowly, just like the other one. So we will have a half belt of production. Basically do the same trick. Give the inserter some space with the fast green belts. So it's looking like this basically. If 
fast green belt to output and then it backs up again on the slower belt over here okay that should be good now we have an actual now we will soon see the production of this powder is going to be uh, 1800 a minute powder is it already like that okay so this was what we were doing with the gaps in the belt 1.6 1.7 right but now we are going to go up to 1.8k a minute here we are already at 1.8k it's just sloping off let me run back and then we'll look again you can see the difference in the belt it was like this and now it's like this I guess uh, I still didn't make a different sound for subscriptions and followers but I get it as a chat message on the phone as well as somebody subscribes so I guess thank you for the follow mysterious person which I cannot see Yeah, I, I should definitely integrate that ch sound. And perhaps that... Uh, <laughs> one of, some of the sounds like... When you die by train, you get that notification and the game over sound... Could be used for subscriptions or something, just to give me a scare. Or that... Uh, or when something breaks. <laughs> like just a... Uh, 10 or 15 clumped of those breaking sounds that should give me a good jump scare every now and then. Especially with worlds like these. So we didn't do nothing of this list we made just yet, but we did fix some stuff in the base. How is these tanks doing? It looks like they're already they're filling up again, just like 15%, 10% full. This has completely run out. Could reclaim my speed models here as well then. Oh, it has the blinking light to indicate when it's on. Alright, so we still don't have a full red belt of powder, because some of the powder is going into crystals, so we could build even more. I think though, we are going to be fine. Yeah, we have already 50,000 plates. I think we can start doing the, the thing. I think I'm going to move these in, inside of these um, Actually that's not gonna work because This one will count like being in this chunk over here we don't need uh, this I cannot put it on this side man I need to put it on this side okay so that should neutralize each furnace I'll input the filters myself so I can grab these and get rid of some of these filters, that's too many. Alright. I forgot, yeah, we were doing the turn stuff into water thing to stop this thing from clogging up, which now it's done. It's fully clogged up, that's good. We can see if this thing is actually fast enough to um, 
unclog the system basically. Okay, where is the thing? Advanced chemical plant. Yeah, I thought so. Another 30 seconds crafting time, so let's do this. Alright, now we can select the thing. Turn that white stuff and oxygen into water. So it's kind of good we have overproduction of oxygen here anyway. It's like 50% more than we need. Yeah, so, okay. Unfortunately, this one is doubled. I think I'll just... Um just the pumps like this barely fits anything this thing has a crafting speed of 8 so oh, that's actually 8 times faster as the normal one that has a crafting speed of 1 does fit 4 modules Produces 30 pollution a minute. That is significant. We probably need another one of these things to compensate. I don't want the pollution explosion again all over my base. I said base. I guess let's flop down one in here. That gives us like 75. We can put speed models in this if we want. Alright, so then we just say to this guy, only pump. That looks kinda bad. That looks kinda better. Uh, only pump if hydrogen is above. 150k or something. Then it will keep running for a while. Okay, um, did I do that wrong? I did probably. Oh no, I need to switch the pump. Okay, so here we go. This thing is now making water. This thing is emptying out. These will all activate again. This pump should be idle now. As this process is creating more water than this needs. So we should be very slowly filling up this tank. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, all of these are working all the time. Let's see, this is a crafting speed of 1, it produces 10 hydrogen a second, so it's like 60 hydrogen per second. This thing eats up um, 6 per second, but it has crafting speed 8. There's 48 a second, so actually it's not enough. Unless I'm miscalculating. It, eat up, it eats up 30 in 5 seconds, that's 6 a second, it has crafting speed 8, 48, and this produces okay, all these pipes remain full. It's not emptying out immediately, okay. So I think I just did some pipe shenanigans. Okay, this one is gonna block up, isn't it? Yeah, okay, okay. So we need more speed. I think the calculation is right. We need to get to crafting speed 10. Which is gonna be a speed module mark 2-ish. Now we get to 12. Let's go 12. That is fine as well. 50 push in a minute. 
let's go down to 24. I guess that's fine. Oh. Oh, we could do something stupid. Like a... <laughs> like a beacon with one Mark III speed module, which gives 50% of its effect to this thing. Now we have exactly crafting speed 10. So it exactly is the same speed like these six guys. All right. And we get to the minimum pollution with this thing. Six a minute. Yeah, okay, that's the minimum. All right. I think we're going to do something stupid like this. It looks nice. <laughs> All right. Indeed, we are sl producing slightly more water than that this system needs. So it will block up eventually. I don't have an, another process which requires water nearby. I do have a sand, um, sand fill, landfill machine <laughs> over here. I can flare stack the water, I guess. But I was. <laughs> I could flare stack the, the hydrogen, the hydrogen gas. I could have just flare stacked that in the first place since pollution is irrelevant anyway. I mean, I guess we just um, gotta launch rockets. So we are using rocket. For what can we use the rocket fuel? Can we use rocket fuel for something else still? rocket fuel. Perhaps I did choose the wrong recipe for rocket fuel after all. And it's only used for utility tech cards. Okay, so basi basically we need to research technologies. We are using it for uh, yellow signs. Alright. I guess we are being forced into researching stuff. Hmm. Okay, let's research the substation. That thing could be useful. Convenient, at least. We could research the miner Mark III. Yeah, let's complete it then. We have the chemical plant already. Let's do the miner as well. Stupidly fast inserters. We have loaders, man. For what you need inserters if you have loaders. Power Armor Mark III. Needs energy control units, Mark III modules. I don't really see the point of... ...of going all that far with all that stuff. I mean, yeah, of course. Bigger power grids and stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> we don't really seem to need to defend ourselves. Okay, let's not go overboard. Let's just... Um, let's just research the, the substation for now. See how that goes. Actually, now that we're on the subject of research, we can switch to these guys. Need to put one beacon next to this guy as well. Speed 5.7. These are speed 1.7. So it's 3, 4. I just speed 1.2. Alright, they were with speed. They were supposed to be speed 1. So it's speed 4. Now we have one machine which has speed. Uh, 2.7, but we should actually place even more beacons, which should just mirror this side. 5.7, that is going to be plenty fast enough to do what we need to do. And I... 
What the heck? Where's that guy coming from? Where's... Okay, let's not use the rocket launcher. Are you gonna trigger on me? It's a big armor biter. Okay, he's not going to... Um, yeah, he's not going to... I don't want that mine to be destroyed, I cannot place it back. Alright, we're just gonna kill this guy. Come on, focus on me already. Bite me! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> He's not biting me. Oh, wait. So, what's going on? I don't think it's an expansion party. What? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a mystery to me. I have no idea how that guy got triggered to either attack or walk into my base. So, we're just going to ignore that it happened, and only if it happens one or two more times, we are going to worry about it. I guess that's going to be the strategy. Yeah, but a uh, one biter expansion, I think that's not possible. I think you need, uh, you need the, the minimum expansion group is uh, higher than one biter. Biter run Namok. I think that is the case here. Yeah, just uh, like one of those insanely uh, unlikely speedrunning things. Like a cosmic ray flipped a bit in my computer and now that biter went to attack my miner or something. <laughs> Alright, so now we sh shoot. Actually, uh, we are producing rocket fuel at a high enough rate. Actually, wait, no. I just uh, got sidetracked by that biter. This chest is emptying up. Or this belt is emptying up at least. Okay, we need to research more stuff. Let's just, let's just research all these conversions. They look not very nice in my queue. That's the only reason I want to <laughs> search those. Um, yeah, I just disabled those completely. We'll just go with stack and servers on these. I guess, I guess we'll just load it in because that looks the nicest. It's a little bit wasteful, but I think we can get away with that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right. So we don't need to change anything else. It's already connected to here again. Now rocket fuel production is gonna be switching on. Anytime. Right? Okay, something is moving sometimes. It is really hard to see when these things are working. Uh, this one is working now. It's only this small blue, they don't have an animation, only this small blue puddle. Oh, thanks uh, Silvos for the uh, subscription. And Zoo for a donation through PayPal. That's really the most efficient way I would guess to uh, to support because I think the fees uh, the fees will be the lowest through PayPal I think Twitch is reasonable as well but if you stream on YouTube they take like 30% out of the donations that's just crazy that's just crazy to me Almost got train sniped while reading the chat. These labs look awesome. This is a random line, a random group of sentences I'm speaking right now. I think it's going to be time to take a break soon. I can make some fresh coffee. Right, but 
let's first finish the things we were doing. Or did we already finish those? I cannot even remember. <laughs> yeah, these are... This is being made again. The research is going again. Base is active again. Power is being used again. The rocket fuel is being produced again. The strain is trying to kill me again. And this water tank is still higher. This tank is not emptying out. At least these pipes are empty now. I do not want to flare off water, man. That is just stupid. I can I can just leak it back into the ocean, I guess. Or into the lake. How, how does a flare stack even look? I, I don't even know where I should look for the thing. Five pollution a minute. Oh. Oh, throwing away, throwing away water is free of pollution. Okay. That, that kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. I cannot wire up this guy, can I? I guess this water pump is going to keep the thing <laughs> filled up. It uses 12.50 a second. This takes like a second or so. It looks like two seconds to get rid of 500 water. I guess that's fine. That's a, let's just leave it at that. I think uh, that's good enough. I did my effort. <laughs> I did my effort into doing the complicated thing. Now this is just spraying the water back in the lake. Just imagine it like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good cloud machine. It's gonna rain soon. All right, no more biters attacking just yet. So that seems like a good sign. Yeah, strange. Really strange. I have no, I, I don't even have an idea what could have caused that. Uh, usually I, if I, even if I don't know something, I have some suspicion that something is going on, but I don't even have a clue what could have caused that biter to part toward the mine. Probably get stuck behind it and start attacking. I know if they part somewhere and something is in the way, they start attacking the thing just to get sh through it. So it, I think that is what was going on. He was on the way to somewhere. Uh, let's stop thinking about it. Okay, here's my energy control units, which I made earlier. Over a thousand of them we have. Let's just put them in a chest over here for now. I'm gonna get rid of this ugly thing on the walkway. Alright. Then we fix all the basis problems, right? We have got a shiny new oil pump jack. A shiny new oil field with a shiny new oil train, which is sharing this highly frequented uh, railroad with the iron ore train. This is working again. This is filling up again. This is again fully fu fully filled up actually. Okay. What? Maybe we were really just out of oil already. Why was this tank empty? It was completely empty. All of these are active. All of these were active. I don't. I don't. Now we are researching as well, so uh, we are consuming even more sulfuric acid with blue chips. Yeah, I, I have no clue.
I, I missed a bunch of uh, chat messages. I think uh, what I'm going to do is I will take a break and after I will be back, we can transition from the base optimization stuff to um, actually building the last science pack, I think. I think we're good to go. We have enough resources. The train is going to cross by a couple hundred times. We do a cool zoom thing. Uh, switch off the chunks. That's probably not 30 FPS anymore. Alright, I think that's a nice shot. You keep on gonking. Been watching since 2 a.m. I knew it, he can speak. I've been watching since 2 a.m. in my time zone. Go get some sleep. Alright, man, have a good night. Like, I guess you need to go in sleep mode. Okay, this, uh, this will not be a YouTube series later since when I started streaming this, I had. No real plans, it was just to try it out, so I didn't download my earliest VODs and stuff. So I cannot really edit it into anything coherent. I'm just missing large pieces. So... Uh, I may do another Crastorio challenge in the future, because I am really enjoying this mod. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Did you back up on heavy and light oil? That's probably not possible. I can mouse over that. It only backs up when petroleum gas is full as well. There's like pumps with conditions and stuff and we have more. We should have enough of that um, stuff. I think maybe we were really just out of oil and most of it got diverted to plastics and not of it not much of it was reaching uh, sulfuric acid, maybe something like that. Mm. Kofi takes less fees from transactions and Patreon. Um. Yeah, I don't know actually. I'm still in the... A patron changes uh, stuff a lot for newer users and grandfathers and old users and stuff. So some Patreons are still on like a 5% uh, tariff. I'm at 8%. I think now it's already like 11 or 12% if you join Patreon these days. So 8% is still pretty decent. Of course you have on top of that the the fees for actually paying out the money through PayPal and stuff, but yeah, everything costs money regarding money. I can have a look at Kofi. I think they will have some some hidden stuff going on, going on as well, though. All right, I think I caught up with most of the stuff. Man, <laughs> thanks everybody for the sub subscriptions and donated subscriptions. That's, I think, uh, like doubled the n amount of uh, subscribers in the stream, which is quite insane. Anyway, anyway. I will not see you next time, I will just take a quick break. I will be uh, back in about 15-ish minutes. I'm gonna make myself a coffee and uh, uh, grab a small bite to eat. I suggest you do the same and uh, have this beautiful base zoomed out in the background and I'll see you back in 15 minutes.
Yeah. The be right back screen <laughs> is indeed singularity tech. We still need to unlock it. <laughs> I'm getting there. I added emotes this week. That is something. <laughs> Probably in a year or two I have collected all the stuff that comes with uh, regular streaming. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the drone view of the base and the ever blinking <laughs> tech light in the top right corner. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> yeah, I only got a couple of those, but um, yeah, I guess I will get more as uh, the channel grows. I guess you don't get as many free emotes like on Discord or something, so have to make do with what we have. <laughs> All right, I'm not fully settled in just yet. Pouring the coffee out as we speak. Looks like the base did not get blown to, to bits in the time I was away. That is good. Then we have the cheaty, the the cheater for knowledge of that the next 15 minutes of gameplay probably will go well. Of course, biter expansion is randomized, so we might as well. It might as well go different. <coughs> Almost identical to antis. <laughs> No way, man! I got jo I got little Johnny. I got the tree of uh, the holy tree of wisdom. I got the the ch <laughs> and uh, Ben the fish. And of course, yeah, the steel axe. I know, I know. He's like anti Illich is like um, uh, team steel axe or something, right? I think he had like this meme speed run of getting to steel axe first, even after. They removed it from us. I don't. I don't exactly remember, but yeah, something like that it was. Right. <laughs> there is there is the tree of wisdom. We don't have a tree of wisdom in this playthrough yet. I don't think this playthrough is gonna have one anymore. We did get around to building the. Tree. We do have some little Johnnies, and some little Johnny Redemption guys who continuously shoot down our bots. Something was destroyed while we were away. Probably a bot, but we can check. We can quickly check that. I mean, if a biter was attacking, he still would be attacking. Since we don't have any... Yeah, logistic bot. But this, this, this was the big snapper attacking us. He destroyed some belts and stuff. I gained two followers and lost one bot. <laughs> well, the bots are automatically replenished, but the uh, followers are not, so thank you for uh, joining. You can grow and plant trees in this mod. Actually, you can. It's a red technology which I researched and never did anything with. I think you can do it in these greenhouses, like, to be exact. Let's just quickly go look, since this is a... Uh, we have to reload anyway after the break screen, because the illegal command thing 40 wood 80 wood with fertilizers yeah whatever we can make all these trees and then we can we can place our very own tree of wisdom i think it's this guy actually which is the emoticon i think we should definitely do that can we just make that guy oh we need to feed it wood all right But then we just get one single tree. Okay, we're gonna have a tree then. It cannot be avoided anymore. Let's uh, speed up. Yeah, a tree. <laughs> In your inventory, <laughs> how it says. Tree. <laughs> Alright. Tree. Man, now we gotta find a good space for this guy. 
Of course, it's kind of epic to put him next to the spaceship, but there we won't see him anytime. I guess he can go at the rocket silo. I think I'll place this guy at the rocket silo. But first, we need to reload and actually make the guy. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> nice. Alright, then the only thing we are missing is Ben the fish. I don't know if he can grow fish in this game. From biomass or something. Alright, we have a new priority. <laughs> these trains are not, it's not gonna go well with these trains. Uh, I need to switch off the requests. Right, so... This guy... Just a single one. It's just called tree. <laughs> uh, a little bit funny. Okay, tree. Copy the recipe. The recipe back. All right, and that should do it, right? <laughs> tree. Are all the other ones also called tree. That's what I wonder. Ah oh no, the others actually have names. Oh, not all of them. Tree, 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 tree. Red tree, okay. Okay, here we get to the fancy names like Amber, Snare, Bow, Tree. We just go with tree. We keep things simple around here. Alright. <clears throat> hey, we were doing all the conversion technologies. I think we missed one. Ah, that one. To do the immerse side stuff. I, I pronounce it different every time and probably I haven't gotten it right even once. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, next to the rock silo there's no other option I don't think. Here we go. That's a scam! That's a scam. Okay, it's still a nice tree, but it looked definitely different than the mouse over. <laughs> Alright, I guess this is the guy it's going to be. We can surround him with steel pipes this time. <laughs> yeah, I think the tree color and type is randomized indeed. Alright, we'll do one more stupid thing in giving this guy some water. And then we'll carry on with the playthrough. We can give him some mineral water. That will do. That will do just fine. So, give him a lot of stuff. Some minerals, right? Trees also need food to grow. Alright, there it is. Holy tree of wisdom. Watered and everything. Shiny lights around. We just cannot do the loops around the tree that easily. Because I didn't take that into account. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we may have to find a bend the fish as well then. We have like a super small pond where Ben is swimming. Not in here, not in there. I don't we can try to keep an eye on if any of these guys swim, we try just to capture one, to capture one with landfill. Uh, I think I deleted him. <laughs> uh, 
And now we have this ugly batch of landfill, <laughs> which we cannot remove. Okay, now we gotta place something on top of that. At least it looks like it's doing something like this. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> Sorry, I messed it up. <laughs> Rip, bend the fish. Yeah, if you place landfill close to a fish, it just uh, deletes the fish basically. Alright. No more fun. We are done with having fun. It's time to go back <laughs> to having no fun. Tree of stupid. <gasps> oh, it's working. We saw it work. I thought they were gonna crash into each other, but... Yeah, and in my last series where I used train, I didn't have signals in the, the ultimate death world challenge, where the four artillery trains were on the same track all the time without signals. That was kinda intense at times. Right, we already have 200,000 meter almost, so that is good. Because the rest of the time we have been wasting, basically. It is time. It is time to look at this schedule once again. We need AI cores and these charged matter stabilizers. One a second. Okay, let's just lay out some stuff. I think I need to make some more of these super fast assembly machines. We can also assemble rocks, apparently. <laughs> I don't have a rock meme just yet. Ah, we can... Ah, yeah, I forgot. We can assemble stuff straight from ore. Like, you can make copper cable out of copper ore with these things. I don't see the point, really. Especially if you use productivity bonuses in every step, this just skips a productivity bonus, which has a big effect. Alright. Anyway... Yeah, I should have deconstructed the fish to keep him still, and switched off my roboport in the process as well. Well, there's only one bend the fish, and I killed him this playthrough. So, no coming back from that. Gotta take responsibility for your actions. <laughs> we won't have a new band of fish just because the old one died. Alright, assemblers, focus. Assemblers. Oi, not that many. <laughs> Forgot how fast this thing was. But this take only 10 seconds to craft. Okay, I could have handcrafted those. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, assembler. Alright, maybe we need that many though. Alright, so AI cores. What are, gonna, what are we gonna need for that? It takes 16 seconds to make two. Let's uh, first copy this thing without beacons. Crafting speed 5. We need one AI core a second, right? I think so, we only need one a second. And this makes one every eight seconds. But with crafting speed five, it makes one every 1.6 seconds. So we need to get to crafting speed eight. So this is already enough, basically. This is crafting speed 15, that is already way beyond what is necessary. Uh, we already have that nitric acid flowing, don't we? No, we don't. We don't have that just yet. Okay, so we need to bring that over from somewhere over here. Once we find out the definitive location. Okay, we're gonna need the productivity in there. We 
just can have this go through the furnace area, I think. That would do. The thing is, do I want to work with requester chests or just belt it over? I don't really know. I mean, I have this stuff on... It's the quantities we're going to go through, man. Perhaps with AI cores, not quite yet, but the other thing, which is energy control units. Actually has a 10 second crafting time. Yeah, but still, we can get this thing up to... It's gonna craft just as fast as these things, if we want to. Takes a while to deconstruct those by hand. Let's uh, plop down a copy of this guy. Select energy control unit. Of course, we're gonna go productivity on those. That leaves us at crafting speed 42, of course. That was the ultimate goal. With crafting speed 42, we are gonna make this recipe, this 10 second recipe. <laughs> 4.2 times per second plus another 40% productivity so that's gonna be uh, like close to 6 a second this thing can churn out and we need 3 per second alright so we can get away with one of these as well we don't even need to fully beacon it up but we will I think we're gonna go belts with this. I think it will look a lot cooler if it has belts. This is another 107 pollution a minute though, so... <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately this pattern does not match up very well. It could go like this. this guy just over here and we won't have to go straight through the furnace area we can pretend it was intended all along to be here this is gonna be fast enough for these yeah way fast enough wait is it yeah we need a crafting speed of eight we have 9.5 plus 40% again for the productivity, so that's way more than we need. Alright, so now we need to just get these ingredients. All of this stuff is on the belts. Uh, wait, just one moment please. Lost my I lost my screen. Now it's back. Is everything alright? Everything seems okay. Alright. Lost the train of thought. Belts. This stuff on belts goes into here, comes out on the other side. And this. Okay, so we have energy control units set up. In enough quantity, we need to belt in this stuff. Immersion plates, we have in enough quantity as well, because we have this super fast furnace over here. Yeah, we're having a good flow of this stuff now. Plates up here, 65,000 already inside. Alright, all of this now is perfectly fine. Okay, so we are good on everything, basically. Yeah, I kind of forgot. Let's switch on this. It's only matter tech cards, which are affected at the moment. 
so I want this to be producing and I want it to stop producing once we start producing the singularity signs, that's the idea. Alright, we need some sort of system in here. It's like a five tile white entity, like the nuclear reactor, <laughs> apparently. So what about just coming in with four loaders straight from the back? And then just spitting out the thing we need. Like that. We can put that on a belt or something again. I think we're gonna go like buffer chests for this stuff. So bots can access it and they can bring back en any energy control units which are... Um, Alright, actually, yeah, I put the chest somewhere. Alright, <laughs> okay, so that's that's already there. Our temporary energy control units are there. Alright, then what about these guys? We need crystals and blue chips. I guess we could do this. Next to the pipe. It's kind of taking shape. Oh, but yeah, of course, uh, ah, we're gonna load all these in as well. We have tons of the stuff. Who cares? I wouldn't be surprised. Wololo. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if these chests were super full again. Sorry for this inefficient transferring of stuff. Alright, that has to happen. Alright, we did all the conversion stuff. I don't know, are we gonna go Power Armor Mark 3? I don't know. Yeah, let's research Mark 3 Miner and the Power Armor and the Skeleton. Yeah. Let's do just the miner. We might actually upgrade some miners if we need to, like this. Like this uh, mine over here. Possibly could benefit from an upgrade. Alright, these tanks are empty, so it has caught up. This should be filling up then. 40k again. Alright, so reserves are rising. Yeah, mining drills we might actually use. I don't think so, but you never know. Alright, so we're gonna have the same thing for AI cores, but on this side. Do we have to put them on one belt together? I don't think so, actually. Yeah, the energy control units are for this, and the AI cores are straight for science, so they don't need to be together on one belt. Because we need to set this to AI cores instead of... Instead of energy control units. Yeah, they come. It means this chest is empty as well. Okay, I guess we'll start with the, I know, I think we'll lay it out first, let's lay it out first. So belts should come in, belts should come in, fluid should come in, we have AI cores and the energy control units. The next step is making the matter stabilizers. How do, how do we make matter stabilizers? We're almost there, it sounds all re really complicated, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, a charging station. I guess we need one of those. How do we make matter 
Oh, we can handcraft matter stabilizers. It probably means we can make them just in an assembler. Matter stabilizer. Okay, let's put that somewhere neutral. It does accept productivity. That means it has to be under some beacons as well. Okay, this takes up the energy control units as well as blue chips and immersion plates. So to force the right, the correct amounts of, or to, to, to enforce the correct ratios, we can uh, control the flow of blue chips. Some of them need to go to AI cores. And some of them need to go into these things. Looks like three a second and one a second. So we can do something like this. Right. Three, three of them go on this belt, one of them go on that belt. So three of them go into this one, one of the blue chips goes in this one. Something like that we can do. Let's actually just keep that up here in the right. <laughs> this looks like a middle finger. <laughs> Especially like this. Do we need to research anything else? I think we're gonna wait for the fancy stuff. Let's research Power Arm Mark 3 and the new legs. Maybe we'll go in some rampage after we finish the game or something. Then the Power Armor will allow us... I'm just searching for reasons to, <laughs> to research the things I want to research. Alright, this means this strategy is not going to work unless we do the, this division up here already. Right, so the immersion plates are only needed for this. Here we are going with uh, bots. I think we can plate everything up. Let's let's check out the charging station. Crafting speed two. Alright, I need to... It takes two seconds to charge. Crafting speed is two, so it takes one second to charge. And we need one per second. It's almost like the game dev the, the mod developer made it like that on purpose. But we can insert modules. Don't really need to. Uh, probably we will put it somewhere close by then since this is the last step and then it goes into here so you don't get back this looks like one of those recipes like barrels where you just get back the the empty thing after you used it but it is not like that it looks like it's going to be consumed because there's nothing else on the output here all right so ai cores over here and the charge matter stabilizers over here and that's all right I think that's all. Five seconds to make one, but we have crafting speed 10, so that's insanely fast. Right, then let's try to set it up with belts so we can complete the bus. Can we like do this on one belt? I think we can. Ah, no, we have immersion plates are getting in the way. I guess we can just bot over the immersion plates. We are already doing it here. Then we can keep to one belt going through the center. Actually, wait. Energy control units are gonna come from this side. So we just have the blue chips and the plates. I guess that should be good. If we make one per second, we need six plates a second, so half a side of a red belt is more than plenty. Right, now it's, now it's gonna get a little more difficult. Let's bring forward some of the stuff we need, like blue chips. And the other thing is gonna be those plates.
Do we need those plates anywhere else? Do we need them for those? No, for these we need crystals. Okay, so plates only for here. Oi. <laughs> Almost got me. I think we have to just come down with plates next to this. Uh, we're gonna have more examples of the weaving bus. Okay, let's 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 not go too wild. All the way to here with those plates. We need to do the funny middle finger thing. This is going to energy, yeah, the energy control unit side. So we need three of them to go here. We can do it more easy actually. So if we do this, all right, there's eight of those on this belt. So two should end up over here and six over here, right? All right, so that works. That looks a little better than the middle finger construction, especially because it's going to be in line with the bus. Basically then we need to side load it onto this belt, together with these plates over here. Yeah, I think that is the first step done. And then this will later connect up with AI cores. Somewhere over here. Okay, the other thing we need is cri crystals down here. Man, those trains. <laughs> Crystals, this is crystals. Somewhere over here. Actually out of... Out of uh, splitters. Whoa! <laughs> Man. I doing? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Have a slight brain fart. I was doing something important. I remember it was important. Something about yeah, taking splitters. Okay, not that important, I guess. We are really out of splitters. I guess we'll just. I know we have plenty of underground belts available. We'll just handcraft some red splitters. Until it starts. Yeah, until it starts doing this. Alright, that's that's fine. Okay. So crystals have to come down here. Such a wide bus, I cannot even see where I need to pull my resources. Uh, crystals are going in AI cores and in these things as well, so perhaps I should also regulate that. One crystal per AI core. And looks like nine crystals. 
Okay, no, it's like a 1 to 10 ratio. I'm not going to do that. I will just let the blue chips do it. Yeah, 1 to 10, it's going to be too much splittery magic stuff. Okay, I think we're going to give this copper belt a green upgrade as well. The train is actually pretty frequent still. Alright, so that's AI course. But we need the nitric acid still. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. I am gonna make it. Okay, where we are gonna have to go with the nitric acid, I think we're gonna have to go even below the sulfuric acid still. So basically we need to add another pipe to the bottom. Right on top of this splitter, huh? That is annoying. Something like that. the best way then. Well, who cares. It's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, so this now needs to connect. We need to just uh, pipe over the... Uh, it's gonna be a little bit annoying because we have to do all this underground belt stuff. We are still not producing enough of that green stuff, I don't think. Missing required fluid, yeah, most of these are not really working. I don't think I'm gonna fix that though, I think it's alright like we have it now. We don't have... Okay, we still have 13,000 there in stock and I guess 100,000 here. So I think we're gonna be good for a while. Why is this one misaligned, actually? It cannot be. Alright, I guess we're almost there. This is uh, painful. This is probably the first mixed, <laughs> the mixed, uh, mixed plates and fluid bus you, you see. <laughs> probably for a good reason too. Okay, we cannot have a gap like that, so we'll do this. Okay, we are there. We made it. Where is that nitric acid gonna come from, though? I guess we can just... I mean, it has to go in this line. So why not just do this? We have a lot of crystals. Yeah. <laughs> it's a train bus. <laughs> Actually, that would be a pretty cool idea for a playthrough train bus. Sounds like something for Dosh. Like a main bus of parallel parallel trains. <laughs> Alright, actually so we never use this stuff. Let's just finish it with in our traditional 
fake it until you make it way. So we just pretend stuff is coming down the bus. But actually there is nothing. Right. I guess yeah he already did it with his uh, no belts, no bots uh, run. That was a pr pretty cool actually, pretty cool mechanism. Pretty fast too. It was almost like uh, transferring plates and other ingredients, almost like fluids, with the speed of fluids through all those wagons. Alright. Okay, I have a feeling I'm being terribly slow at the moment. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, the nitric acid. It is connected, right? That was why we were so slow. Nitric acid has arrived in the assembler, so that is good. We can start making AI cores basically, but I think I just want to switch it all on at the same time and just see if it works from the get-go. In my playthrough, at all, uh, in my YouTube playthrough, it always works at from the get-go <laughs> because I cut out the first six takes usually. So <laughs> now you're gonna have the live experience. I'm gonna need to have like four belts of stuff coming in here. Okay. So plates. Okay, we did that. Plates, blue chips, energy control units are gonna come from here. The I course is connected. Crystals blues connected. Now we just need these four ingredients. And then we need to connect it to this charger and lead the resources in here, and that is all. Right. First of all, can we just do this here? Or did we... Ah, I guess it fits like this. That's good enough. Yeah. Can, it, can this be one longer? It can. Respect the rails a little more. Evenly, I think that looks better. Right, now we need to know what the resources are. Lithium sulfur batteries, electronic components, low density structures and more crystals. Right, so let's draw those forward. Okay, up. Up. These things, these crystals again. Batteries which are actually... We have only a hundred thousand batteries in this chest here, so... I guess we're gonna make a belt. Okay, this powder is stopping here, so we can use this same belt space for the batteries. I need to be careful about biters. This is uh, such a strange sight. <laughs> Let's out the belts, uh, the batteries, we only have yeah, like 500 stacks of batteries in here. We've been saving up pretty good, we need to be above the lithium belt. I guess this looks sufficiently horrible. At least now this goes automatic. Oh, wow, that is advanced. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I had them, but man, they thought of everything. Look at this motion, right? And I was laughing, but then I did this. Man, <laughs> well played, Factorio devs. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the smartest, but no, we're already too far. Need to go down here. Yes, on my mineral water collection point. I guess we could do something stupid like this instead. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty stupid.
All right, batteries. That is one. Second ingredient, crystals. That is two. Are we on the right alignment? I think we are. Forgot the other two again. Electronic components and low densities. Man, uh, electronic components is going to be way insufficient. I did upgrade to like green bells. Perhaps I did do this properly enough. We'll see how that goes. I probably should have been stashing up chests of this stuff as well. Okay, let's start the better late than even later or something. I don't have a normal one anymore. I don't want my bots to pick up stuff I put in here. Alright. And let's switch off that limit as well. I think we're simply not going to have like enough stuff like glass and silicon and yeah, mostly glass and silicon, I bet. Wrong side for bots. Maybe I already did that. All right. Low densities and the other things. The other things were these things. Right? Yeah, electronic components. I forgot how they looked exactly. I think we're gonna have to fill in the full bus as well at some point. All right, so pretty easy. If we're gonna fill in everything, then this is gonna look like this as well. So let's reinstate that. Is that gonna switch on? No, not yet. I did not connect it. I think we're gonna have some secret requester chests helping out if the belt speed turns out to be insufficient. Okay, 42, 10 per second at full, so 4 stashes, 4 times 9, 36 electronic components a second. So that's more than a red belt can provide. This thing cannot work at full speed because of the electronic components. The, all of the rest should be fast enough if we can get a full belt of output from our buffers, not from our live production. So let's try that then. So we're just gonna have like a thousand of those in here. I think we do have the production, we just don't have the belt. Do we have the belt? Can we make the belt? We can make the belt. It's already on here. It was on here for red chips and modules. Yeah, we don't not gonna have enough man. No way. We can upgrade all of this to blue. That should be enough. It will look horrible though. I don't know, I have a green belt in here as well. I may as well put blue belts in there too. Nah, let's do the requested chest thing. And we'll just zap this thing over here. Let's not worry about stack sizes. So this is already starting. The loaders are gonna have priority though, because the inserter stops at like 60 and the loaders... The loaders are just gonna keep going.
I guess let's uh, let's start. Let's start them one at a time, approximately at the same time, but not quite exactly. So we can see each individual process. Oh, that is fast. Yeah, this guy is helping out. It's, without this guy, this will go down to zero really fast. Not really fast, but it will. It can't keep up, right? Alright, so let's do that. We do want to limit production somewhat, though. Actually... Actually... These anti-matter reactors, they require those things, right? 50 a pop. We need 20, that's 1,000. The fuel cells, whoa, 10 a pop. I think I said I wanted 120 of those at minimum. So that's another 1,200, that's 22. We also need those matter stabilizer things for that, 240. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need a lot of those things. I guess only 5,000 or so fit in this chest anyway. Okay, but for now we can... After we make those empty matter stuff, we can tone this down if we need to. But for now, let's say... You can go ahead and fill like 4,000 units of that stuff. Right, low density structures is already out. This is our live low density structure production. <laughs> Alright, low densities. Oh. I'm gonna have to expand that production, but for now we can... I shot myself in the foot here. I don't like that. Alright, I think we'll also just request... Um, we'll, make a, we'll make this into a buffer chest, so the bots will leave it mostly alone. We can make these into passive providers. And this one we'll leave alone as well. Since this is going to yellow signs. Alright, then we just need to request those. We're going to burn through those so, so incredibly fast. If we do this. <laughs> it's just fun to look at these machines. This is not post not uh They go <laughs> Yeah that's gonna work non-stop isn't it? Yeah let's do this production for 10 minutes, spend all my buffers which I built 10 hours building up and then post some production graphs that will be fun. Alright let's switch on the next one, come on already. Uh, blue chips and those things. This is barely fast enough. So I guess that's okay. For 60 signs per minute. Not so stupid fast like this one, but... Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, this is fine. Alright, then this one. Oh, we didn't connect that just yet. Let's do a squiggle. Ok, 
Okay, and then we need the energy control unit. I guess we can do a sneaky underground belt like that. How many do we need? Three per cycle. Five seconds. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's go with twelve, I guess. Alright, here we have the metal stabilizers. Those also need to be outputted in a chest. Metal stabilizers. A full chest of those. Alright, those go into the charging station. Let's actually just check it out. Alright, and it indeed charges up pretty fast. Oh, we have this on range of the beacons, that's unnecessary. This is the real speed. That is the 60 signs per minute speed. I guess since we have the buff, let's put it in, in range of the beacons. That's 150 signs per minute speed. So the charged ones can then stream into this thing. And we just need to add the AI cores. Even out of loaders. Alright, I... I don't have any loaders anymore either. I think we're almost done though. Alright, we want to set aside some of those for that empty matter stuff. Two meta stabilizers per fuel cell. We wanted 120, so that's 240. How about 400? If we set aside 400, we can make like a better safety margin of. Um, oh, that is the live blue chip supply. Right, it's time to feed those out as well. Yeah, I'm just going to do the hacky thing. Just gonna grab this and throw it in there. Hop, a full belt of production. Or half belt of production. Half belt is going to be good as well. Alright, but at least the one to three splitter thing is uh, working. We produce roughly the right ratios, <laughs> so that's good. I guess we'll just output 400 in a chest on this side. Let's grab all of those. That's gonna be for antimatter.
guess we can just do something simple-ish. Okay, let's let's use one more of those with the near side thing. And here we have it then. Actually, no, we don't. This is not working. We need to charge up those things. Forgot about that. We can split them again. <laughs> So that means AI cores to the right. We have a red color palette with a red belt that looks better. So this part is gonna come true. Where is this part leading to then? It is not leading to anywhere. It's leading to north of the mine. That's leading into the mine. Alright. Whatever. I guess this should be it. Eh. Wait, what's this? This is not working, is it? <laughs> yeah, that is uh, kind of dumb. Now it should work. Here we go, singularity science. Finally. <laughs> right, there they go. First ones coming down the belt. We're gonna have all six of the end game technology cards in the labs. Nice. Yeah, pretty good stuff. <laughs> this production is insane. <laughs> For five more minutes, and then we're out of low densities. Oh, we're gonna need like tons of these. Alright, I should actually do this and I want to save up at least those 2200 I want to save up at least those 2200 energy control units for the for the power supply for antimatter and the rest can be fed out to make these uh, matter stabilizer things So far, we are producing at an amazing speed. But for how much longer? I guess we also want to do the same for these AI cores. Okay, we're gonna just need to speed up these AI cores a bit, because the rest is also at an insane speed. And it's better. <gasps> and I think... We need the uh, pollution <laughs> neutralizers. Uh, panic. Blind panic. Blueprint. Okay, I'm just gonna stand down a bunch of those. And this thing is not powered. that. Well, it looks like no pollution has spread out too far just yet. Yeah, that was uh, kind of dumb. Okay, we again have those ugly spots over the base. I'm just gonna leave it be for now. <laughs> uh, let's see how much tech cards we are producing. Yeah, we are producing at a pace of 150 a minute. Of course, it's not sustainable. But with the current 
back rocks we can keep it up a bit. I look, it would look a lot better if the low density structure belt was full instead of doing this though. Mm. Hello train! I guess we can do this. <laughs> yeah, this is looking horrible as well, but this is how it's gonna be. Now the belt is full. Look at this man, spent all game collecting these things and the first chest is already empty after two minutes or so. Right, I think it's time to start researching. I guess we'll go straight into the antimatter reactor so we can prepare for those and then we can go ahead with the game ending technology of the intergalactic transceiver which unlocks the end game building for which we have everything already that's another 500 energy control units okay, did i limit this already no i did not only take ai cores if we have at least a thousand or something let's go 2000 that's gonna shut me up for a while, right? Yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna have some effects. Let's go 1000. I didn't think we would fit everything in this space, especially after I did the furnaces here already. It looks like these are pretty good, these advanced assemblers. They save uh, quite some space, you can speed up a lot of stuff. They have the... it would be nicer if they had like 5 or 6 model slots though. All of the other advanced things have more model slots than their counterparts, like the furnaces have 4, whereas the regular have 2. I think this would look better... underground belt let's make one does it actually <laughs> not really maybe if this thing is in the in the center Yeah, now it looks better. That looks uh, that looks actually pretty cool. Right, 97 of these. Okay, we created a thousand singularity tech cards. I can't even insert this man. <laughs> How long did that take us? Six minutes. Six and a half minutes. Alright. <laughs> Up to 10k, I guess. Man, this is uh... Alright. Let me put away my stuff, man. <laughs> Too much stuff. Now I should never touch those again and all will be fine. Okay. Now all of the end game sciences are running. Okay, it is probably time to...
Yeah, that was not very smart. I should have limited those. I should have been producing these as well. So now I could turn back the limit. Let's do turn back the limit. Let's go 1k. Just 1k of all of these. And these will just keep producing for a while. That means these will shut off, all resources can flow into this thing. Man, the AI calls also glow. Like Terminator eyes. I do not really want to speed up this guy even further. It's already pretty insane. Let's just limit this a bit. Kinda worried. Okay. And what is next? There's a couple more things to do, not a lot. We need to collect the resources for this thing. And we need to make sure we can make power for this thing with this, guys. So we need 20 of these things. We could start collecting the resources for that. It's a 1000 AI cores. So yeah, we need 1000 of those for sure. And we need to make these fuel cells. 200 fuel cells will cost 200,000 matter. Which we have already. It's good we started to produce this early, man. That took quite a while to make. Okay. But we need to wait for this technology to complete before we can actually make those things. Yeah, maybe I should not overproduce these, man. 10 energy control units to pop. You get them back after the fact, though. Okay, let's do make them. Right. While we wait for this technology though, we can probably... Let's check how the furnace stacks are doing. Is everything being used? Most of the copper is being used, but not all. Mm, by far, not all of the iron is being used. Most of the glass... No, all of the glass is being used. Yeah, we just don't have the sand production to keep up. But I guess this does not use sand or stone, low densities. I think we can maybe expand the production of this stuff a bit. I don't know how far down we're gonna go. I guess the same like this. For now we'll just do this. Actually, I shouldn't, because the beacons won't fit. I think we already just start doing this. Maybe we need even more, especially in this chunk down here. I should have gone productivity model trees on these a long time ago already. Alright. Then this pipe is somewhat annoying. I guess we can ignore it for now. Let's copy this. That part is not necessary. Now we can just copy it, right? Three, four. It's like a double set. And we can... We can probably do that with a, one of these steel pipes. Try to bridge 
Let's check that out actually. Yeah, we can reach it. Alright. Missing a bunch of lights. Most basic elements. You know, after, so after some time of playing, it doesn't hurt to make them all, but yeah, we, we never got around to it. What can you do? We have to keep in mind more important stuff, like keeping this power line grid neat. Not like this. What the heck is that? Those are the important things, man, not stuff like making a mall. How many modules we have left? Okay, still way more than 200. Way more than 200. Okay, we're good. Right, that is looking better again. What is this? I don't know what this thing is doing. Right, I promise I will stop after this. <laughs> I'm running next to my walkway every time because I'm scared of the train. I should just embrace it, it will happen eventually. Um, alright. Yeah, we're running up to the speed limits now of the. Because we only built four laps, perhaps I should have built more. Anyway, we also want to extend blue chips. Still need to extend or connect this together, basically. And we can see if we actually produce enough resources to keep up this. This already has module 3. So this is the pipe which brings the fluid. Okay, we can do this and this, and that will allow us to flop in that guy. Not not great, but it does work. Okay, how is it going with this stuff? Probably should place this guy a bit more close by. Okay, now they are preferring this one instead of that one. Gives us time to catch up again a bit. A stuff is reaching the end of the belt still, so that is good. I think this is our final low density structure production, though I don't think I'm gonna go higher than this. We are at 230 a minute, which is way below what we need, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we are consuming 1.6k a minute. <laughs> I guess we are overproducing at the moment, or over consuming at the moment. Since this does not need to consume so fast to make 60 signs per minute. Are we still making 150 per minute? Actually, yes. Okay, that is why we are using 1.6 low density structures a minute. Wrong bell side for low densities.
Right, is that still a problem somewhere? I I don't see. I don't see where it is, so. Boat assembly areas output on the right side. Oh, like that, you mean? I think that's alright for low densities, the belt. You don't have a half belt of production. There's plenty of space still. It's getting balanced here. I guess we could do this. Ah, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> Are we producing? What is our max production? Yeah, 200 a minute. The belt can take... One half of a red belt can take 900 a minute. So we are like at a quarter of the capacity. That's, that's okay. They just take an absurd amount of resources, man. And a long crafting time at that. It looks like we are definitely using all copper now. And we are also polluting. Let's show that. Oh, it's actually on this chunk here. Oh, and not a little bit as well. Cannot really fit in that many more cleaners here. Alright, so I guess there was a point to the advanced pollution filters. I guess we are going into the sacred territory inside the bus at the moment. Oh, we can even go like this. And the sulfuric acid belt is still connected. But how do we fake? Ah, we can fake it like this. Right, these are powered by the substation. <laughs> How is it going now? Okay, pollution is gone. All pollution is gone, except which spread around because we weren't careful enough. That's probably going to happen more often still. I mean, this is a stupid amount of pollution, do All of these machines. 15 pollution a minute and, yeah, 15 pollution a minute. For each of these 48 assemblers, so that's a lot of pollution a minute. Alright. It looks like iron production is already not keeping up as well. Let's check our resource situation. Switch it off. Trying to click as hard. Okay, that is, that is still good. Stone. 270k. Trickle. That's alright. Funnily enough, we are good on the late game stuff. Because we built that at a late game scale. Copper, we used 4 million from the 10 million already. Iron, we have... Two times a half million left or so. So it's uh, one million. And it's gonna get us to the end. Coal 500k is gonna get us to the end. Stone is questionable because we need it for uh, both glass and quartz and silicon and all that stuff. We still have 76k in this container here though. So that also helps. And oil should be good again. But how is uranium doing actually? 13,000, yeah, that's gonna make it to the end as well. Oil. I have a feeling we are not producing enough oil, still. The tanks do not seem to be filling up. But 
production 18k, yeah, consumption 26k now. After we switched on the base, we went back to full consumption. With all the science packs going. All right, that's alright though. We are going at a at a speed way way higher than what we need to go, so what oh, these things allowed. 69k matter in each tank. Nice. Those numbers seem to pop off pop up <laughs> pop off way more often than statistically seems likely. <laughs> I think we're just gonna get a head start on collecting the materials we need for the antimatter reactors and stuff. Because, yeah, it's, the labs are just not fast enough. I should have built more labs. We already overproduced 2000 singularity tech cards. Not bad. And these are slowly being emptied out. Alright. Then. I was hoping to set it up by with bots. I'm gonna need a bigger chest. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger chest. Let's do a request for warehouse. That's more like it. Definitely gonna need a bigger chest. <laughs> All right, request for warehouse. We'll plop it down here. Uh, we'll have to do this there where we switch in the tech screen to see what we need. So 350 rare metals, steel and immersion plates. All right. So 350 rare metals times 20 is going to be 7,000. Yeah, we definitely need this giant chest. Then uh, 7k steel. Oh, this is going to cause some bot explosions. Let's not miss those. And 7k immersion plates. Yeah, all the bots are busy. All of the 1000 bots. On the way to bring us some stuff. Oh, they're getting a new task. They're splitting off to go to the robots and shortly after getting a new task. Alright, we're getting there. I guess now the steel is gonna come. Yeah, we're now on the on the steel Congo line. As well as over here. So now the bot's battery is going to matter. Yeah, I, it, it said it can take a maximum of 60 gigawatts, and even at 60 gigawatts, it still has to charge for 500 seconds. That's almost 10 minutes at 60 gigawatts of power. <sighs> Alright, I hope that was not a bot carrying something expensive. It looks like just a pollution filter. Alright, looks like the bots are finishing up this initial hole. There are still 4,000 plates on the way. Alright. Okay, let's check the, the next uh, things. Uh, 2k immersion beams, 1k AI cores, and 1k energy control units. Actually, we can take those ourselves. I really should just clean up my inventory a bit. Away, away, away. Away. I guess we'll make inserters once we need them. Who cares? How are we gonna get those back? Actually, all of 
these, yeah, this, 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 this is all unnecessary. Steel furnaces, are you kidding me? Why am I carrying around steel furnaces? Am I requesting electrolysis plants or what? Um, more modules. Everything, everything, go away. These beams we actually need. I guess AI cores, they should theoretically go back to the correct chest. Let's not trust that blindly do. These actually don't go back to the correct chest. And neither do these. Alright, now we have some space. mean to switch that on. Okay, the reactor thing is finished. I wasted enough time, apparently. We're still not done yet, though. Alright. Let's get out of the network. We're standing in this green spot over here. <laughs> 2,000 of these beams. That's about half of what we produced, actually. Um... 1000 energy control units. And 1000 AI cores. They're still going strong. Alright, if we put all of that together 7k, 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 2k, 1k, 1k. Alright. So, we can make the antimatter reactors. I guess we just start on the final technology. It does feel a bit strange, this ending, though, that it's also accessible. I mean, with accessible, I mean research advanced technology card. Immediately after, you can research singularity technology card. And the very next tech you can research is this one. There's no prerequisites or nothing. So, let's go for it. Intergalactic transceiver, here we go. I have a feeling those antimatter reactors cannot be crafted by hand. How many stuff is this? Is this too much? Yeah, it's too much. No, 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 no. Uh, shit, shit, shit. No, no. Don't bring more stuff. Stop it. Uh, too late. <sighs> okay, then just bring it. Yeah. Now I'm messing it up even more. <laughs> Man, I was going to do it nice. Nicely. Forgive me. Alright. Just want to get this 7k stuff back in there. Small oopsie. With big consequences. Alright, that is 7k of each again. Alright. 6.9k 7k se okay it's I I did it I restored order okay this is how it should look 1k 2k 1k okay and three and a half k of all the rest so this is 20 antimatter reactors the quests are off now now I can take it without messing anything up We'll get rid of this later. Maybe. Alright. <laughs> Let's retry that. 
antimatter reactor, where is the thing? Here is the nuclear reactor, fusion, advanced steam turbine, antimatter reactor. 300 seconds of crafting time. Can you make it by hand? Let's take half from this chest. I can make it by hand. Nuclears you couldn't make by hand, right? Yeah, you can make nuclear reactors by hand, but anti-metal reactors, that's fine. Alright. Logic. Okay, 300 seconds of crafting time. 5 minutes a pop. That means 20 of them take an hour and 40 minutes to craft. But with our super amazing speedy assembler 2000, we can get away with... I think it crafts in like 6 seconds or something. Where is the thing? Antimatter reactor. Alright, let's let's see. This is a five minute recipe, man. A five minute recipe in six seconds. Alright, okay, so we don't they don't stack, so we're gonna have to micromanage it. A bit. I'm not going to do that with inserters or even loaders, that's gonna take forever, man. We'll just spend the time and control click everything in there. And out of there. Let's check this thing out. Okay, it takes a fuel cell. There's no inputs or outputs. It produces 200 pollution a minute. Okay, small detail. <laughs> and we're gonna have 20 of these. <laughs> That's going to be 4,000 pollution a minute. Let's check the pollution of the entire base against that. 5, 6, 7, 8. Less than 1,000 pollution a minute for the entire base. And these are going to create 4,000 pollution a minute. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to need to put up some filters there. Maybe I was wrong about this uh, improved pollution filter thing. Ah, we're gonna stick. Are we gonna stick with normal? I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll I'll try to stick with normal ones. Okay, we have six of them. Seven. Half of the power would go to filters. <laughs> the self. That's like the self-defeating pollution filter. <laughs> oh yeah, I already talked about the belt stacking a bit. I think it makes belts too powerful. As you may know, I'm a belts kind of guy. Uh, as opposed to a trains kind of guy. One of my plans for the future is to make a 10,000 signs per minute base with only belts. No trains, no bots or nothing. Or at least... Not strictly no trains or bots, but uh, like... I'm, I'm gonna have like 20 bells of rails or something, you know, next to each other. No no trains, no modules, just everything bells. I mean, no city blocks or something. Modules we're gonna use, obviously, for 10,000 signs per minute. But, uh, yeah. The thing is... Bells are nicely balanced as they are, I, I feel. If you're gonna allow stacking on bells, you're going to get... Um, you can put like, and and they add the green belts to the base game. You're gonna get away with like one fifth of the belts you would need for a normal playthrough. So yeah, on one side, I guess it's better for performance if I understand it right. But yeah, I, I have to see it. It sounds a little bit OP. Alright, we do have... Let's bring back this stuff. Actually, let's not. Let's just put it in the trash slots. We can bring back these plates. So yeah, um... I don't know, I... I I'm not, uh... The base game is going to change a whole lot I think like now we have the 
the rocket and then you can go for like giant science per minute or rockets per minute basis and with the multiple planets uh, I think that dynamic is gonna change a lot because Well, uh, I think it will be hard to make a 10k SPM base across different planets. Like, you don't see people do it in space exploration, for instance. So it, it scales, it scales different, uh, right? Like, uh, it scales horizontally as opposed to vertically. I forgot that I need to keep this thing, this thing here. Alright, 20 antimatter reactors. We'll put them in a chest for now. The next thing to do is getting this liquid matter stuff into the matter fuel cells. I guess it makes sense uh, if it really is that much better for performance as well it's like it's a great thing to have these stacked things but it would it would it would diminish the needs for uh, trains kind of yeah because now the uh, it's mostly like the cost of a 5000 tile long blue belt is pretty significant Especially if you have like a 10 white bus of those, you're gonna spend millions of irons on belts, as opposed to rails being a lot more cost effective. But with these stacked belts, that may be changing a lot. I mean, I, I guess technically they could add a new type of belt like a heavy duty belt or something which uh, which is uh, capable of dealing with the pressure of the stacked stuff on top of the belts and just make the belt four times more expensive to compensate for the fact that the belts can transport four times as much so that would maybe balance it out a bit i don't know kind of a mixed bag i think uh I think it will grow on me though, after I after you play with it, it's, it will turn out to be a lot more convenient than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> and after just a little while you can't live without it anymore. Wait, I really should keep an eye on um, pollution every now and then. Alright. So lab's still going. Is this chest still filling? Yes, we are still filling this chest. Okay, we have we already have enough to make the intergalactic transceiver. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna go 4k on every science now and let let the resources fall where they may, as they like to say in Vegas. And they mean Especially in the pockets of the casinos, I guess. Okay, fuel, fuel cells for antimatter, right? Focus. Wait, here's biters, right? Can I walk here? Oh, there, <laughs> there they are already. Okay, we need this guy. It has a new recipe now charged antimatter fuel cell. But for that, we need the fuel cells themselves. What do we need to make those? Assembly machines. I guess we can use this guy again. I, I bet we can use productivity on this, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we go back to crafting speed of only 42. 200 of these things. Okay, let's... Um, I'll just... I'll just do it myself. Alright, we can actually request. <laughs> Start to be lazy the, the minute I say it. 800 of these. So I'm scared if I copy paste it from this chest, I will severely... Um, 
The request will be way too high. Let's check out what happens. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. But it's still too high. Okay, let's go. 800 of these. I'm wasting time. Come on already. 800 of these, right? Actually, we have productivity. We need way less. But I want to make 200, so we need way more. Let's copy that. That does seem like approximately the right amount. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna slow down signs though. I just stole all the energy control units. Plus 400 of these guys. We don't need those anymore then. All right, we have 40% productivity. We want to spend 400. But we need to divide this like 7 to 20, 188, about 200 and, about 280 we need. So let's try that and see how far that brings us. We are going to delete those, delete those. You can use as much as you want from this. This will be the limiting factor. All right, let's go. Oh, we need nitric acid for that. Um, well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we're going to borrow a certain machine. Let's switch off our requests yet again. Grab this stuff. Grab some inserters and some chests. I think we're just going to flop this one over. As this one already has access to nitric acid. Alright, we don't have loaders, let's use inserters. Starting to be poor again at the end of this playthrough. Where the heck did those things go? Are they already inside here? I guess they are already inside here. Alright, so we have these guys, these guys, and these guys. And these guys. Let's switch that around. Just borrowing the assembler for a minute. Right, and that should make us about approximately 200 of those fuel cells. Then we can give back the rest to science production, which is now idle for the first time in a long time, because energy control units are no longer flowing down the belt. I guess we can now lower this request. Let's do a more civil like 500 or something. Once we have 500, it can go in the belt. 1k of those here, yeah, that all seems fine. Alright, then we gotta configure this guy. This guy cannot take productivity, he just fills them with the matter. I need to grab our inventory again. Again, it's clogged up with I don't know how much stuff, somehow. Uh, we have a pollution filter in here. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Alright, that works. Blend it. Oh, that's going to be very fast. Crafting speed one, five seconds. Times 200, that's 2000 seconds. Actually, that's a lot. Alright, it's empty. 
quickly again. I'm going to put it against these beacons here. That will make it slightly more polluting, as in 180 units per second. It's getting out of hand a bit. Did I, oh, I think I automated the, those filters at some point, or I made a whole bunch more. I have only 18 more pollution filters in here. That's probably not going to be enough to deal with all the antimatter pollution. k so we do have enough to fill 200,000 units of matter. Okay, I'll switch on the pump. After we supply it. Man, I'm glad I built those things on the south side, man. Imagine if we had to let, listen to this for the last two hours. Whew. Man, those things are loud. I guess it's very simple in and out. That's three and a half. How about if we get it up to like one? Can we do that? I mean, we can neutralize 300 pollution with this thing. All right, that is speed five. So we are making one each second now. That's 200 seconds. That's a lot better than 1000. 1,000 seconds, ah, not 2,001, okay. Okay, this is done right. Okay, we are four pieces short. There's one, two, and now we're gonna get the bonus. Three, four, all right? 200 units, all right. Now we can move this back over to the AI course and normal service can resume and the rest of these can go back to science as well as these energy control units we can do we need more I guess we still need more uh, we need a bunch for the intergalactic transceiver itself 500 okay let's set aside those 500 and we can put the rest back in here oh we almost there and okay, now we're going to be filling these fuel cells I guess this will go pretty fast. Oh yeah, we need to do the matter thing. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. Okay, that's going to be done in no time. And with no time, I mean three minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> All right. Look at these packs, man. It looks so nice. Yeah, the more I play Castorio, the more I like the mod, man. In the beginning, I was, I had some, fortunately those vods are deleted by now, but I was pretty negative about some aspects of the mod, like the fact that these crafts come in four iron plates for four iron gears. That was very annoying because at the early game, every plate counts and you need 
one iron gear, but you cannot make it because you don't have enough iron. That, that kind of stuff, you know. I was a little bit grumpy about that, but man, the mod really flowered out very well. These are like settling almost in range of my gun turrets now. These are not for defense, they are just like relics of our old OG wood powered self fueling power plant a long long time ago. Uh, smaller beacons. No, I think that's also the... Yeah, you need also these uh, tech cards for them. So, not yet. Maybe we'll get to them. For now I need to figure out how to do the antimatter technology. Or how to fit the reactors. Right, so I'm probably I'm going to I probably am going to hand feed those. We have 20 of these things. Can we make a nice pattern? That is the question. And if so, where are we going to place it? I guess we need to think about chunk alignment in some way. Okay, let's just do a bunch of stuff. How is this looking? Does this... I think this... Uh, is actually not bad. Right, thanks for following unknown person. I cannot see the <laughs> the Twitch screen at the same time as I'm playing. <laughs> so I get a message if someone subscribes at the chat but if someone follows i don't get a message so thanks uh, for following <laughs> and yeah i'll work on getting my setup better than that i think this is turning out to be to be pretty decent is that 20 21 i guess we can do this Okay, then I want to know Let's let's check out that end game thingy, the intergalactic transceiver. It's this guy, how big is that? It actually fits. It's not square, is it? No, it's like uh, one tile wider than it's high. Could place that thing in the middle. Do the substations reach though? They don't. Do the advanced substation? I did research that, didn't I? Okay, substation mark 2. Let's see if those can reach. Mm. Well. No. Yes, yes, this it reaches this corner. I don't know if I want to build this inside the reactor though. It's like a temporary reactor anyway. I don't want to do that. Perhaps I don't need those then. Uh, how are we gonna power this though? I mean I could stretch it out just a little more. How does it look if there's like two tiles of space? Uh, let's go with one tile. I think uh, one tile looks Looks good. Alright, we can get like some sort of a star pattern. Need a bunch more substations.
Alright, that powers not all of them. We need to power this guy still. We also need to power a whole bunch of pollution filters. Wait, 10k advanced technology cards. Finally, I guess. Will be limited production for a while. After you're done, can you deconstruct all the purifiers? <laughs> I can. I will make a save game first. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have some more experiments after we, we are done. Just to see some alternate endings and stuff. Okay. Right. So my plan is the most of these are now in the central chunk. There is no way I'm going to fit enough pollution filters in here. But we don't need to because pollution only spreads orthogonally. So only to the chunks next to it. So basically we need to compensate the pollution of these guys in the four neighboring chunks where the other, the other ones are. So basically we gotta build enough pollution filters in the four surrounding chunks to compensate five antimatter reactors a pop, so 1000 pollution points a pop. So that means 750 is 10, 15 or so. We could do 16, that's like a chunk, a full chunk wide pollution filter. Something like this. That many. <laughs> and then on all four sides. <laughs> I guess, why not? Perhaps we can make it a little more fun. Does this, does this even fit? Where is the biters? They are pretty close by here. Uh, they are gonna trigger on the bots. Actually, are there worms in there? I think no, I think we can do that. Let's, uh, let's do a test. Bots. Okay, looks like nobody is shooting at the bots. Let's grab the... Let's clear this full area. Of rocks and trees. Okay. We're gonna need a whole boatload of chests and then sailors and stuff again. I think I still have a bunch of chests in... Wait, that, that's not gonna work. I still have a whole load of chests in my storage unit. 16, 64 times 2, 128. I guess we're also gonna need to make those into the logistics chest. So that means we need a couple extra of these. Red chips I still have on me. Inserters! Do we still have inserters? Also 128. No, we are all out of inserters. Something like that. Alright. Something like that. That should do. Yeah, we're gonna power that. We need to power half of those. It's just one, one tile away. All right, let's let's go in. Let's just go in like 
two tiles or something. This could make a nice pattern. Right, the final technology is almost done, actually. We are being quite slow. Yeah, that looks quite nice. That's not too bad. Yeah, and as expected, we do not have the... ...enough of those pollution filters available, I don't think. Um, let, let's see. On the way, zero. Logistic storage, is zero. Alright, let's see how it is. Pollution filter. Things are being delivered. We'll just uh, let this chest or let this assembler rip for a while. Okay, I want to keep this power network separate still. Are we getting plastic delivered? Here we are. Right, this thing is going. So let's walk around and see what the bots still need to place. Alright, we're only missing nine of them. Okay, that's not too bad. Four have already done. Five. We're gonna need some RoboPort coverage as well. I think that exactly... Yeah, that exactly spans the width of the build. Connects all the robots while bringing everything in range, so that is nice. So now I need to go in range myself, so the robot will be placed. This one is out of power. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. These are all out of power. Right, let's then... Let's uh, connect the power networks for now. These are out of fuel anyway, it's not really, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's limit this chest, we can deconstruct it after a while. Final loop. It's kind of insane that this is a 60 gigawatts power plant. Let's uh, just copy-paste this build, hold it over our 1.6 gigawatts nuclear plant, which is larger than this. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda insane. Let's, let's uh, catch up with chat. I forgot to read chat, of course. Yes. Uh, smaller beacons, I read about that. We'll probably research those after the fact. Pollution control, like this. <laughs> 46 hours took me 114 to complete. I guess it's kind of fast. I don't know, this, this session feels very slow. Last session felt incredibly quick. I did three science packs in one stream and I'm already all stream trying to get the last one and to the end of the game. <sighs> of course this is not my first game 
or Factorio ever. So I kinda I kinda have a decent idea of how how to do stuff. Even for modded playthroughs it's still fairly similar to vanilla so it's not it's not too difficult to actually uh, get it done. Right, I think I'm just going to move this assembler over somewhere else. Ah, I have 40 of those things again. We are done with the game basically. 200 fuel cells to be distributed. So that's basically just a stack per one stack for every how to call these things antimatter reactors apparently are all these things turning all these things are turning all right so let's I guess let's disconnect it okay so let's make a save what i want to know is is this like fuel efficient or is this like just burn through it i guess it's gonna be burn through it it is gonna be loud holy moly why does all these things have to be so loud right we have a maximum of three gigawatts okay so the fuel efficiency is 100 percent it should last 100 seconds. I think it. I think it's fuel efficient, then, because this, if this was a 100 second bar, it would have gone down a few pixels already at least. Right, let's connect the base. See if we can get get it moving. Right now we just tripled our power production by connecting one of these things. Okay, now we see it moving, right? Ever so slightly. Yeah, now it's moving. Uh, I have another way I can check this actually. I will reload the game, don't worry. Alright, so let's grab this thing. Is it 100% fuel efficient? Yeah, it is not starting, so that probably means it is. A nuclear reactor would just start eating the fuel. I'm causing more attacks on my... Wow, these four gun turrets took down this entire batch of biters, basically. Unfortunately, I missed that. We're not gonna get to behemoths, guys. We started at 88% evolution, it's at 89.3% now. Man, that's unexpected. Okay, so if I put a single inserter here, I need a power line as well. Close your ears. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Now we have an antimatter reactor powering one inserter. 400 watts use of 3 gigawatts. But the sound is as loud as if it was working non stop. Yeah, okay. I think I know what I need to know. Right, we can actually probably see, see it happen. Where, where are our. Okay, we have a bunch of these next to here. Okay, ah, they just sometimes trigger. So it was not in one time. Yeah, this expansion is pretty close to the radar, so... Whenever I'm walking close by enough that these wander around the nest, which they do only if I'm within a certain chunk radius, they start wandering around the nest, get into range of that radar and trigger on it, which triggers other biters as well, so... Looks like that occasionally happens. Starting to look quite dense around here, I have to say. Nice. All right. So, fuel must not be destroyed.
Okay. Well, so I will switch these on only. Um, actually, I can switch them on already, can I not? Since they are apparently uh, fuel efficient, like steam engines, not like nuclear power, like steam engines and boilers, they also just boil away as much coal as you need for power. Is the game still up? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Intergalactic transceiver. Um, I guess we should select it on a slow assembler. Let's first do that outside of range. Let's see what happens. Maybe it will actually work as uh, I want to. Just one set of ingredients requested. No, way more. Alright. So we copy this recipe to here. This one is way slower. Okay, now we have one set of ingredients. Alright. Now we just copy this chest. Place it in here. And everything will be delivered. Except for AI cores and energy control units, which we need to go take ourselves. Three hundred cores, five hundred control units. We set those apart already. That was a smart move. Here are the bots. They brought everything else. They're still on the way with rare metals and and concrete. Okay, that is there as well. <laughs> This thing has a 600 second... <laughs> Why? <laughs> 10 minutes crafting time to make the transceiver. This just feels like... Unnecessarily delaying it, man. Can I handcraft it even? I can. I can just wait 10 minutes and we have it. Yeah, that seems not the way to go though. Okay, we're gonna go... Crafting speed 55 again. Here we go. 10 minutes crafting time. <laughs> That's a fast 10 minutes. That was like uh, almost the whole duration of the break. Created the first intergalactic trans... What do you mean the first intergalactic transceiver? Do we have to... <laughs> Do I have to make more of these? <laughs> Don't tell me I have to make more of these. Where are we gonna place this guy though? I didn't think about that. Do we have space? In this area? Not really. I guess we could. I guess we could place it here, around the starting area. Like right above the spaceship, but the rails is in the way. Because I made this unnecessary thing. It also would fit quite nicely at the end game area over here. Although... Yeah, I don't know. In the middle of the base. I can decide where to put it. <laughs> Maybe I should have put it in the middle of the reactors. I don't know. Maybe just on top. Next to the nuclear plant, somehow. Probably a best idea. Nothing could go wrong. I know what you're up to, guys. <laughs> I know what you guys are up to. 
All right. If you want the show, then we'll get you the show. Ha! Ah, missed me. <laughs> Gonna make a, a slight detour. Uh, some construction going on. How big is this thing? It's like a, fits nicely with a spaceship like this. All right, so we can probably. How the how am I? Man, rails is so clunky to maneuver around with. This probably does not fit to make a full turn and come back again. So this is the best we can do. That's not enough. It's not enough. How about below? Can the rail go below? Maybe it can go below. I guess it can go below. Alright. That's un unexpected, but I'll take it. This is kind of a problem though, because we already need to sway up again, I guess. The loaders are preventing... I mean, we need at least an underground belt here. Hmm. Could get rid of these gun turrets, perhaps. Still would not... Would that be enough? Let's try. I don't think we are at risk anymore of... fighters uh, attacking. Us? Man, those trains. <sighs> Actually, it fits. Okay, now we need to be careful because they can choose either way. It should not change anything for the signaling. Oh, man, those trains are still driving off and on way more than I would like them to. <laughs> this detour somehow looks wrong and better at the same time than what it was before. Alright then, we can place this intergalactic transceiver. Right like that. Alright, so let's check it out. What happens if I just connect it? Let's, let's use a, a sturdy wooden power pole. What can go wrong? Okay, so first... I know there's some sort of a minimum, right? Let's, do I have a solar panel on me? I should not be standing here. Okay, I'm standing exactly alright. No, I don't need a solar panel. Actually, no. We can just connect it to the network because we don't have sufficient power anyway. Here it is, our wooden power pole. We're just gonna transport all the power this thing needs. Not enough power. The transceiver requires at least 15 gigawatts of power input in order to charge. Alright, so it's good we went for the antimatter things because we need at least 10 of these things. Plus the very expensive nuclear fuel, for that matter, to charge the thing. It is trying to. It is using all the power right now. How is the rest of the base looking? Okay, it looks like this just consumes all the... It, ba it basically seems to function like a big accumulator of some sort. It's not starving the rest of the base of power. But it's just taking up all the extra available power. Alright. So, I guess let's switch it off again. With 1.2 we can build a railway bridge over the spaceship. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, there comes the train again. That is actually pretty cool. Alright. So I guess we are going to... Uh, this is going to be loud. Alright, I think you want to turn down your volume for 30 seconds or so. 
Because these things I cannot I cannot prevent it, it's gonna be loud. We're gonna start in three, two, one, loud! <laughs> yeah, it is loud. Alright, that is that is 10 fuel cells <laughs> per antimatter reactor. Special for you guys, I will walk through it one more time. It is not connected to our base just yet. It is just satisfying the robot network and these things. How is the pollution? Okay. So it's also not producing pollution because it's not being there's another way we could have checked so there's a very slight pollution going on in the center here but because we are not we are not using the full power it's also not producing the full 200 pollution so i guess it's going to change as soon as we connect the transceiver Now the base is connected. Okay, so now we are producing some pollution. Okay, let's see how that how that slight increase is going to change when we connect the transceiver. You think you think it's safe if we put 60 gigawatts of power through a small electric pole? I think that should be fine. Here we go. Yeah, maybe I should start a little further. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Alright. Now it's just gonna do this for 10 minutes, I guess. 46.25, so let's say 46.35 we should be back, I guess. How is the pollution now? Yeah, now, now that is what more like what I was expecting. Oh, sorry about that. Looks like I cannot zoom in on that. That will cause unnecessary sound effects. Okay, so we're getting up to over 300. And it looks like the four surrounding chunks are actually absorbing everything that is spread to them. So this, I did actually calculate this precisely, I just, <laughs> wait, 75 times 16, uh, 1200, right? And we need to absorb 1000, so yeah, we have 200 pollution points of overabsorption. I'm just worrying about if this gets high enough, it can maybe spread two chunks at the same time, because it spreads to one chunk. And then immediately in the next tick spreads to the next chunk if it's over 15. But looks like looks like we're stable at 300 something. With six pollution points spreading around. Yeah. Okay. So we are good on that. We're using <laughs> we're using 60.3 gigawatts of power, 60 megawatts <laughs> for the transceiver. And. Uh, 0.3 for everything else. I guess we could try to research something while, while we're going. Let's research Power Armor Mark 4 just for fun. Now, we put, now we're consuming a whopping not 60.3 but 60.7 gigawatts with the whole base operational. So how is the stash of blue chips and low density structures doing? I guess we have time to walk over. We can construct the transceiver in the assembler at 55 times normal speed. But unfortunately we cannot speed up the actual charging of this thing. It's about one third full, so I've rambled on for three minutes about. <laughs> right, still need to ramble on for another minute or five. 
or seven or something. Okay. Looks like module production has is still not resumed. It was a good strategy. Uh, I want to have a stock of 200, but when the base was idle, we produced 500. Now we used a bunch of them without triggering the assemblers again, right at the moment we need the production for science. This is the nuclear reactor working at full power. We overbuilt, we overbuilt this thing in the name of symmetry, so uh, this last line should have been deleted and then everything would be working blowing steam full stop, but in the name of symmetry we had to build unnecessary details on this thing. Alright, it is actually pumping 3600 units of water a second, which is good. We checked if this was sufficient when I built the reactor. More, yeah, there's a limit. It takes a maximum of 60 gigawatts. Because if you see, it takes 60 gigawatts. We still have 0 0.8 gigawatts of power left over. We could be we could be using more power. Actually, yeah, it does very much work like an accumulator. It actually states that the accumulator charge is charging up to this 30 terajoules of power. So. Pretty, pretty cool. Right. That looks uh, pretty neat as well in the dark. Let's just enjoy this view for a little bit. I'm standing pretty far away, but it's still pretty loud. <laughs> Both the matter, the things which we're basically running the base on mineral water, man. We're making water into matter. We stuff that into the fuel cells and it is just uh, running on water. <laughs> okay, let's take a train ride. This train we can ride safely through the base. Have a nice scrolling view. I should have built this train under the spaceship from the get-go. Actually, it's not safe to ride this train. <laughs> There's a biter base right down there as well. Yeah, not nothing safe. Did I almost get zapped by that other train? I think I did. <laughs> Let's hop on. But right, yeah. Um Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, 80%. It's not too bad. We're almost there. Let's make a save. I'll make another save once we get there. Save 60. 68B. This can we need to make the last save, the next one. 80%. <laughs> How to beat Crastorio that world in 69 saves. <laughs> Good title for a YouTube series. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately it's not coming to YouTube because I don't have the VODs from the early streams because I don't have enough foresight. Kind of arbitrary. These waiting times at the end, I think it's not the, not the best point of Castorio either. The 600 seconds crafting time and all that kind of stuff. 300 seconds crafting. That's not bad. That's alright. Okay, we actually are overproducing pollution in this chunk here, so that's fine. Right? It's fine, right? Yeah, there is still another 
buffer chunk between the biters and the pollution. We're gonna be fine. Let's not let ourselves get distracted anymore. We are nearing 100%. Grab myself the last of my coffee. <sighs> Perfect synchronization with the last sip of my coffee. <laughs> Ready, I guess. <laughs> now we just push the button. Push the button and win. Oh, this is gonna sound wrong, but... 69 push to win <laughs> all right let's do it <laughs> click it i did it Ooh. i knew that was gonna happen don't worry guys oh <laughs> My spaceship! I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> Holy moly! 46. <laughs> okay, so I knew it was gonna blow up. I mean, I saw I saw Dosh's video as well and some other video. Look at the smoke! Look at the damage! <laughs> my spaceship, man! <laughs> I didn't know my spaceship was gonna blow up. They're gonna pick me up in 268 years. <laughs> well, I guess this playthrough isn't over just yet then. <laughs> okay, everything is broken and gone. Actually, no, everything is mostly broken. It looks like it's, uh, it's it damaged itself with over 3000 points of damage. Up to here. I mean, we're out of repair packs. I don't know what has been repaired or what not. I mean, these things have only like 80 points of damage. I'm glad my my chest with all my stuff didn't blow up. But my spaceship, man! I can't, I can't even move it, really. Or I have to make new antimatter fuel cells or fill the, refill them again. If I want to play on. <laughs> Bloop the spaceship. <laughs> okay, looks like, what is the range of the explosion? The range of the explosion is basically infinite or what? Now we are, we are there. It looks like we did damage the biters. Oh, that's interesting actually. So biters uh, heal, but apparently only if you are close by enough. Because the nest is, they have healed, but the biters have not healed. Man, that would be a nice thing to just plant in the middle of the biters and then just <laughs> charge it with 60 gigajoules. Sorry, 300 terajoules and then just explode it. Alright. Okay, so, so let's explode it again and see if the nests actually get damaged. But yeah, it looks like the, there's a very nearby high damage uh, range of explosions. I think all these rails got destroyed as well. I just still had them on me, so they got replaced. This thing has 2 out of 100 health left over. 57, 68, 77. Alright, looks like it's kinda randomized. The big power hub is gone. You know, I wonder... Did I, did I receive damage from that? Alright, we're gonna have a, a reload. Actually... Yeah, let's reload. I'm gonna make another save in case I accidentally override this one. 69A. Alright. 
Let's see, I'm just gonna stand against it. Let's let me take off my armor as well. Can I do that? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Alright, I thought I was gonna spill everything over the ground, but... Alright, let's see. Can I kill myself? Put your predictions in the chat now. Will I kill myself if I activate this thing and I stand next to it without armor? Or will I survive? <laughs> 100% You could run a prediction Actually, I saw that feature I need to go start my browser then I think I saw that somewhere in the control panel Let me try that real quick Another step More close by to Becoming a professional <laughs> Where is my some dashboard, right? Creator dashboard. I hope I'm not streaming my creator dashboard right now. No, okay. <laughs> it's not here. Man, I forgot how I need to do that. Ah, here, stream manager, all right. Ah, okay. All right, I guess we'll why can I not do this stuff? Oh, I cannot uh, start a poll for some reason. Man, okay, I'm... This sound is very loud. You can do it simply in your chat. Wait, first of all... Let me get away from that thing for a bit. Sorry for your ears. <laughs> Came just in time, it seems. It seems so, but I've already blown up the place once. <laughs> now we're trying to get a poll going so we can uh, run predictions. If I will kill myself, if I stand against that thing when I activate it without armor. Okay, slash... Oh, I need to do this on my phone. I... I don't know. Poll and prediction are different. Alright, I'll figure that out for next time. I don't want this to spend too much time. But it looks like the overwhelming sensation was gonna be, yes, I will blow myself up. Let's pretend the result is 82% uh, said I was going to blow myself up. <laughs> and let's see. <laughs> oh yeah, I died. Oh, that was... Laggy. <laughs> Alright, I'm dead. I'm dead, but I won the game. <laughs> Kill the first character <laughs> at 46. Ha ha! Kill the first character. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Alright. So, now what? Okay, I can move around. Looks like the, the nests heal pretty quickly, I guess. The biters are damaged, though. Right, let's check this out again. Okay, these biters are damaged. If I go over there... 
I think I'm soft locked, man. Okay, they are healing. Actually, it looks like the armored biters do not heal at all. So these are already healed, but the armored biters are not healing. Alright. So much for the rescue. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> After 280 something years, they finally come to pick me up and then they discover the idiot blew himself up while sending the signal. Alright, I think I'm softlocked man, I cannot respawn. There is no buttons, there is no bar, there is nothing. There is a lot of damage here man. Man, everything is damaged. Like, literal tens of thousands of entities are damaged. Like, it's like cosmetic damage, you know? Like, the reactors are damaged, but like, they have like five points of damage on them. So not really at risk of being blown up. Alright. Let's let's reveal the whole map with which is visible. Since I'm soft locked anyway, I need to reload. Alright, so we have a little bit more terrain visible but not a lot. So yeah, this is the entire map with all the expansions on it. Alright, power armor mark 4 finished. Too little, too late my guy. <laughs> it is too late for the power armor now. Alright, but I, I did survive while standing against it with the armor. I died 2 minutes and uh, 3 minutes ago. I have 12 minutes to pick up myself, but I can't. Alright, how to softlock Crastorio. Die on the moment supreme. Alright, now the rails actually has been blown up. Unfilter everything and run charging again. Alright, we could do that as well. Uh, I don't have construction bots in my network though. I did not make a save before I started to charge, I don't think. But I did... And just deconstruct it. The game does not really want you to deconstruct it. I guess it makes sense. Actually I want to check if you like unpower it for one second you, will you lose all progress. Charging 80%. Okay not you know, it's going pretty fast. Alright, so it doesn't lose it instantly, but I <laughs> you lose a lot of power that way. They're like 10% like per second and it's gone. Alright, so I guess I'll just donate my construction bots to the network. And we will... Issue a deconstruct order for all the pollution filters. That's pretty easy to do. We'll just put this thing on there and this simple action will change everything. 209. Alright, so let's... I have 200 bots. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. It's 192, 197. That will make all bots fly out. Let's see how fast we get attacked.
So now we have cancelled all pollution absorption, or we are in the process of doing that. Now we need to switch on, the back, switch this thing back on. And this will now very, 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 very fast become very dark red around here. You can see it happening. Even with the compression, probably. Uh, total pollution emission is about 5,000 units a second. 4,000 from this reactor. And 1,000 from the base. I checked before starting that. Right here already attack groups are being formed. We, had, we don't have any defense, so the first attack which comes in is just going to wreck us. Right, just about all pollution filters seem to be gone. This is uh, where the first attack is gonna come in. I mean, look here, we are already severely polluting. Attack group. This guy is joining this attack group. There's a big armored snapper in, in there. Quickly looking up the command to set evolution. I want to set it to 100%. Sizable groups. Which one will be the first to run down its attack time? Well, look at this pollution around this reactor. I mean, there's attack groups everywhere. It's gonna go horribly wrong pretty soon. Yeah, but mostly around this area, man. Okay, we can actually see. When they plan to attack. I cannot see it, there's too much information. These guys are coming, alright. <laughs> Here we go, I guess they are gonna attack the reactor. But which one? They are looking for a specific one. And here we go. I wonder if these will explode like nuclear reactors do. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Actually, that was a fairly small explosion for an antimatter <laughs> reactor. Right, we have another attack in our low density structure thing. <laughs> I hope I, I did save, right? <laughs> this is an earlier save, I think. Yeah, so this is how it would look like without pollution filters. We could get big attacks constantly. Of course, I would imagine we would have a defense set up. Okay, this thing is the next one to explode. Does it kill the biters? Let's see if this guy survives. No, it does not do any damage. Yeah, the attack groups are getting big. It takes a while for the momentum of the cloud to take over, but yeah, this is what you, what you would see in a normal dead world. 
run. Strange enough, the pumps are just still happily pumping away. We are falling behind. Actually, these things are quite sturdy. They have survived the attack for uh, quite a while. Oh man, oh man, oh man. There goes science production. The nuclear reactor is not gonna explode. It's not above 900 degrees, so it's just gonna go like the reactors here, I guess. There's a lot of pollution starting to spread. Yeah, it's a, a beautiful explosion, it is. Okay, they've given up on the reactors. Oh no, they haven't. It's just a new group. Taking out everything else. This group is still growing. Okay, we are below 15. Below 50, yeah. Okay, this is all gone. Is it one is still up. I know, the power network is disconnected. Yeah, alright. So we are just running on the reactor now. For as long as it's remaining up. Okay, power is not disconnected, says this guy. Ah, this guy is still in this... In this one's range for two more seconds. <laughs> alright, that's, that's all. How about this giant group? Are they going to come or what? Right, these guys went in neutral mode. They are going back to the nest. Let's keep researching whatever. Oh, well. So, lo so much for neutral mode. Okay. So this sometimes happens. This attack group broke up. Now they're going to be running away to all... They're not intending to attack. They're now going to attack because they can't pass through. Same like when they attack rocks and stuff. They are trying to pathfind to another nest. Okay, so I guess they were, maybe they already selected the aggro target when they started forming and it already was destroyed and that's why they went, uh, they couldn't find a target to attack anymore or something like that. Just uh, wild guesses now, I don't exactly know when and how they select targets. I just know that if there's nothing on the map to attack, they cannot attack, a principle which I've abused many times already. Right. No, they won't make the other nests bigger. They just uh, go somewhere to roam around. Right, those guys are in full attack mode. These guys are still in full attack mode. This would be a costly mistake. Right, the immersite drill is also busted. I guess that would go pretty fast as well with, uh, with all the pollution output of this guy. This one's still going. Oh, ah, yeah, we, we had efficiency beacons around that. Forgot about it. Okay, I guess that shows chaos is complete. Research advanced pickaxe, really? The, the very arbitrary kind of of goals. Alright, we need to set evolution to 100%. I think I just copied that. Okay, I'm cheating. Says the game, 100%. I want to see some of those new Leviathan snapper. Uh, spawn only two percent actually. Ok, 
Okay, there's no Leviathan spitter. Alright, we are getting behemoths. Okay, I'm gonna kill all units, I think. That uh, forces the spawning of new units. If I still have it. Uh, I may already not have that anymore. I think this destroys all nests as well. Yeah, this is kill all units, alright. So all units are killed. Now new ones will spawn. And those will be like... 20% behemoths and stuff. So this is the behemoth biter. Stats 3500 health. That's uh, 500 more than in vanilla. The rest seems fairly similar. Now we need to get that Le Le v Leviathan guy. This is the armored behemoth snapper. The armored behemoth biter. 6000 health. Also just 12 physical. It's the same like uh, 12 physical armor. Same like behemoth biter. And 25% on top of that. So they also have some laser resistance and better fire and explosion resistance. So I guess that makes them more armored against those, but against gun turrets it's about the same. Okay, now we need to find one of those Le Leviathan... Leviathan snappers. Hey, thanks Helnors for the uh, subscription. And to anyone else, who has Amazon Prime? Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, that you can get a free Twitch subscription every month? And if you haven't used that one yet, you may as well use it for this channel! Haha! <laughs> right, that's ad, ad, over. <laughs> I don't know what color the Leviathan has. Leave, ah, here is one. Look at that guy. 18,000 health. Uh, like six behemoth biters about. 350 damage, how fast are these guys? 65 kilometers per hour, that's like a behemoth biter, I think. Yeah. Okay, the behemoth snapper is still quite slow. But this guy is as fast as behemoth biters, which is terrifying. Okay, let's see if we can trigger that guy, he's over there. I guess we can uh, just bring ourselves over there as well. Just uh, oh, maybe not zoom that much. Let's see how fast that guy kills us. Maybe we can just copy that guy. Bring him over to the base. And then I'll go here myself. That guy is pretty fast. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I, am I, I am wearing armor. I don't have shields. Man, that is really fast. Ah! <laughs> he insta-killed me. I have a power armor mark too, and he insta-killed me. <laughs> okay. Chomp. <laughs> he does look like... It does look like this guy can chomp you in one chomp, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright. I guess he's gonna return to some nest as well. Oh, he just went inactive. Oh, I'm slow. Okay, let's, let's, uh, can I auto- <laughs> No, not a chance. I was thinking I can outrun him by using the belt, but I can't. Man, that guy is actually scary. This is just like the splash damage of his attack, man. He just like grabs everything in, in this one. This is gonna be fun. I guess that is what... Oh great, my respawn point is right on the rails. That is genius. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> All 
Anyway, I guess now he effed off. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. Alright, that's fine. You never built this. I did have the shelter, but I replaced it with a storage warehouse. When, once we unlocked the big storage chest, because it basically served the same function. Didn't have any space remaining because I didn't plan my base right. I guess you can set your... Uh, you can set your spawn point with the shelter. Alright, never mind though. I guess you just spawn at the shelter. Okay, what I do want to know is... The purple bells, I never made them. So we we can still run against the green belt. But can we run against the purple belt? That is a good question. I guess we also have to edit that in. Okay. Let's try. No, not a chance. <laughs> That's me at full speed running against the purple belt. I guess we need to make it a little longer. This the purple belt is pretty fast. Okay. I'm running, I'm running. It's like you run on a... Try to run up an escalator which is coming down. <laughs> Yeah, it is a uh, eye dazzling fast, right? I, I don't know, my eyes can still barely follow the green arrows, but the purple arrows are mostly like a like a blaze. Unless you really focus on one arrow and follow it along the screen. But if you just look like like a white angle, then um, no. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so the base is that. If we don't have the pollution filters, everything dies. That is basically the short version. No Leviathans in this. Okay, no here, just Behemoth Spitter. It's not too interesting, we did already see all of that. I guess we heard enough of that sound. Yeah, yeah, alright. We'll, we'll just reload. The actual game. Push to win. Alright, I do have my armor on. I should survive this this time. Let's go. That's a loud explosion. Yeah, that's the effect of the pollution filters. Yeah, that is seriously overpowered. Alright. So our kills, not all that impressive. Mostly small biters from early game. When it was actually difficult because gun turrets are hidden behind uh, red technology. Which doesn't sound like much, but it's the second technology pack in this game. And before gun turrets, you cannot defend anything, you just need to stay with it yourself. Or you just need to deconstruct it and run to the next patch. So you have to gnome it around for a bit until you can actually make your first gun turrets. Which on that world is pretty hefty, because pollution spreads faster as well. So we spend uh, like a good 6 hours before actually starting the game with automation and stuff. Just to get the space for ourselves and the basic necessities to withstand that world so it's like a vanilla paste that world evolution combined with the slow early game of crestorio which makes it so difficult slash tedious i would say after that we yeah, we got to um, we didn't get that many kills anymore because 12 hours in we had the pollution filters up i remember 
we played for the last 30 hours with pollution filters and without pollution triggered attacks. We only destroyed 400 spawners, most of which were just in the way of our base and to clear out some land when pollution still, still was a thing. And for the rest is just some random destroyed stuff. Alright, I'm gonna make... Message received. Dispatcher rescue starship. Estimated time required. 268 years. <laughs> yeah, 268 years. This looks awesome, man. Look at the smoke. It kills my FPS a bit, but... Everything is uh, smooth. It's a really cool ending sequence here. My, my spaceship is gone, man. This, this is like an empty gap in my heart right now. Well, I guess I will restore those four big power lines. Holy moly. That is a lot of damage to re <laughs> to repair. All right. I think that is going to do it for this stream. Uh, this is this is not gonna go well if I zoom out. Because of all the damaged stuff which uh, renders additional stuff on the screen. So let's zoom out a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, we've got everything on the screen again. The one thing which I noticed, if I can find the power line still somewhere. Yeah, so it's looking like this activated intergalactic transceiver is now outputting 10 gigawatts, right, for free. Let me quickly just delete my nuclear plant and my antimatter reactor. And the base is still running. So I don't have any power generation anymore. Uh, click, click, come on, click, 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 click. Alright, we did it. Alright, yeah, so we have a maximum power generation of 10 gigawatts. We have one accumulator at the steam power plant still. <laughs> at this old power plant. So it looks like if you activate that thing you get 10 gigawatts of free power, which kind of makes sense then to activate more of them. This is like three, uh, 3 and a third antimatter reactor worth of free power without fuel cells or anything. So yeah, completed the first one at 46 hours. So there would be some merit in if you build a mega base to just activate a bunch of these things for free power generation. You, you only get one. Do you? That's... Oh, I need another... We're gonna need to wait another 10 minutes to activate that one then. You only get one. We're also not gonna have enough power. Because I just deleted my antimatter. Ah, okay, never mind then. <laughs> oh, 
we are again at this uh, at this point. Right, I'm gonna activate it one more time. See the spaceship blow up. Oh. Sorry, I should should warn you that is actually pretty loud. You can only activate one of them. That sounds lame. All right. I'm gonna go back to zoom. Point eight. Get all the shiny stuff on the screen. The frame rate is probably very low, but since nothing is moving, it's all right. All right. So I don't know if this is the actual final, final finale of this stream or if I'm going to go like in the post game a little bit more. I'll decide later. But uh, yeah, for today <laughs> this was it. <laughs> pretty fun stream. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice. Made it to the end of Crastorio 2 on the pure dead world setting with the abuse of the pollution filters. Living together with biters all over the place, they are everywhere here, 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 right next, right next to us, basically everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed the stream as well. And uh, I don't have a fixed stream moment yet in the week or something. I do always post on Discord as soon as I know when my next stream is. You can find the link to Discord through my YouTube channel, so that's a little bit... I probably should add that as well to the Twitch. But for now, just click the YouTube link in my profile and under any of my videos you find a link to Discord where you can get notified uh, and you can even get pinged if you want uh, for future streams. As soon as I know, I post it and but also automatically, whenever I go live, it also uh, pings you if you choose so. So you won't miss the start of the stream if you happen to be online on Discord. Man, Factorio looks, just looks so nice in the dark with the lights. Okay, the train is giving away the frame rate. Yeah, I, I can stream live on YouTube as well at the same time, I guess. So, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, I kind of like Twitch for for streams, though. I don't know, it's... Uh, the setup seems nicer here. But I'll look into it. Uh, I mean, my main audience uh, is on YouTube, I still presume. So it would make sense to stream there, now that I kind of know how to do it. <laughs> Getting there slowly. Double cross the streams. <laughs> Wait, let's get it. Uranium patch. How much uranium do we still have actually? I'm going up. Stop going up. <laughs> yeah, we have 11k uranium left over, so we made it with that. Another alternate ending stream I consider doing. I was thinking about it in the break. So I spent a lot of time setting up extra immersion plates, powder, all, all of that stuff, extra oil. I think I could perhaps just rush to the end with whatever resources I still have left over. As well as the oil. No new oil field. Just, uh, I mean, this was almost empty, but we still had a full tank of petroleum. We also had these um, heavy and light oil, which could be cracked all the way into petroleum. Since we're not using heavy oil or light oil for anything else, I think we could probably just sort of speed run to the end from the same save point as we started this stream. So this stream has been going for seven and a half hours. 
I think I could do it in like half the time if I would not bother setting up a proper base, you know? <laughs> we'll see. It could be a fun exercise to try to, to just speed run the end and be left with nothing in the end, basically. Alright. I'm going to leave this uh, screen up for a little bit more, just uh, for people who enjoy the, the ambiance of Factorio without an annoying voice blabbering through it. Kinda like my OG videos, where I just did everything with the music and the yellow text over boxes, which can be just like quite nice to play in the background if you want to sleep, just the nice gentle music of Factorio and the sound effects of biters breaking to your base. Alright, we won't have those. It will be nice. Oh man, the two trains went in sequence. Alright, I'm just blabbering random stuff. I'm going to uh, I'm going to end it. It's been a fun seven and a half hours. And uh, yeah, join the Discord to be notified. And I will update the planning on Twitch as soon as I know as well. So I think you can subscribe to the planning or something. I didn't actually quite check that out. Oh, you or you can only, after I've planned it, you can set a notification. Yeah, I think it's like that. All right, so do you want to get pinged? Follow the, follow the Discord program. And if you want, you can keep an eye on the planning on Twitch. I will update it as soon as I know, probably in the weekends and or on Wednesdays, usually. Depends how far I am with editing the next video of my YouTube series. So thanks everybody for watching, thanks for the chat and uh, for the fun interactions and I will see you in the next stream.